Okay, uh, give me a second here. I uh, just got back. Oh, goddamn, 10 second timer. Uh, just ignore all the icons there. Uh, okay. So, yeah, uh, new Terminator skin. Also, hello, Mitchell. Uh, apologies there for the ad. Actually, let me, let me see if I can snooze that. Okay, cool. Uh, there won't be ads for like at least five minutes there. Okay, cool. I was able to stop that. Okay, cool. So, anyways, uh, oh, goddamn. Apparently, I tripped the capture card. Give me a second here. Uh, I'm gonna use a feed on my. Yeah. What up? Okay. Okay. Let's start that up. Okay. Cool. Okay. Sorry. I'm just stopping the the, the music player there. Okay, um, you left to excuse me, I'm just, <laughs> long loading screen, am I right? God dang. <laughs> ah, well, anyways, um, here's the thing, I was actually looking at some stuff earlier. Apparently, you can now get, uh, at least in Canada, anyways, apparently, at least at Circle K locations, um, or at least select Circle K locations, I haven't seen them at my store, but... Apparently, you can get a uh, prime in canned form now. Uh, not just bottled. Not sure how to feel about that. Be personal with you. Oh, cool. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Um, you know what? That is a valid question. When will you be as big as your big sister? Okay, actually. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. Okay. Ooh, okay, some new characters to try out. Never tried her. Might want to try her out. The Wanderer. <laughs> okay, well, I do have Rosaria, and I do have um, Yadinfe. Oh, God, why do I feel like I'm going to sneeze? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Ooh, I do apologize. Felt weird. Tickles set. Tickles in the back of my nose. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Okay, well I know I redeemed a code. Okay. We'll, we'll come back to that survey later. Uh, let's see. Is Shop, I believe? I swear, that is a cute little costume. But I refuse to spend money. I mean, yes, I've got some of the quote-unquote paid costumes, but the thing is that I didn't actually pay for those. Because... Uh, two of them you could earn from events, and this one you earned from a quest. Which I think might have been an, an event as well? Well, e either way, uh, two out of three I know for a fact were an event costume, regardless. Uh, let's see, where the hell is... Oh, there's the wish thing. Do I have enough to grab wishes? Okay, I need... Wait, what? Okay, that's new. Uh, what are the differences? Okay, that's... Healing bonus. Ooh, 10%. Healing bonus increased by 10%. Normal attack damage is increased by 1% of the max HP of the... <gasps> okay, okay, okay. 
Uh, okay. This would actually be really good with my Barbara, the way I have her set up. Because you think her elemental uh, burst uh, does some some low level healing. So, I, I, in a weird way, this would actually be ideal for Barbara. Not this one. Normal attack speed increase. Uh, I guess that'd be good for like some of the other characters. Not any of the spellcaster or said say catalyst users that I have. So. Uh, that's the one I'm going to set as my select weapon. That I'm going to quote unquote uh, be grinding for, I guess. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Uh, I think I'll hold on to those for now. I wonder when I'll be as. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, let's just... Oh, okay, there's actually already an ad break going, okay. I didn't realize what was happening. Okay. I'm not a fan of all these ads. I mean, cool that I get alerts now, but at the same time... Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Okay, we're gonna do the expedition stuff. Uh, let's put Bennett up. Uh, do I really need any of those from here? Uh, you know what, actually, I don't really have much for recipes from here, so actually what I should do... Uh, because I'm always in need for meat. Let's just throw a character up in Inazuma for now. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do what's called a pro-gamer move. Uh, because I know that on the bridge there... Uh... Oh, okay, that's weird. The head pad is just slightly off. Let's correct that. Ah, yeah. Haha. Heat, heat. There we go. Okay, so from here. Okay, this is the team I need to use. Is these characters. Not necessarily all four of them, just Aloy and. Sayu, specifically? Because uh, if you're familiar with Genshin Impact, Aloy has a passive that basically makes it so that animals don't run away mm -hmm. right away. Regardless of whether she's running or walking at them. And Sayu, because uh, she has a really uh, dirty little move that I like. And I mean, like... Well... It's this move. Can't catch me. I was kind of weirded out by the, the Futurama skins, to be honest with you. Like, that's one thing that I never thought I would see added to Fortnite, of all things. It's like, Futurama? Oh, um, give me a second... Let me turn that back on. Uh, give me a second. Let me try a sound alert. The text-to-speech is one of the sound alerts. I'm just going to play a sound alert to see if it... Huh. Huh, okay. Uh, give me a second. Uh, 
Okay, the sound alert is just being broken. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. I'm just going to... Or, not really be right back. I'm going to be still doing the game, but I can't really see the chat through the web browser here. Sound alert. Okay, I'm opening up the, uh, the sound alert web page. Assuming I need to log in. Oh, it looks like it disconnected from my Twitch account. Okay, that's what happened. Okay, I just gotta retether it to my Twitch account. Okay, so it doesn't seem to have recognized uh, the TTS at all. Uh, okay, here's what I can do for now. is if I go to... Here's what I can do. Um, I can probably refund you the points. That's probably about the best I can do. Because I know that's like a thousand points. That's a pretty steep climb there. Oh, I can, I can see chat, by the way, if, if you're typing anything there. That one, really? <sighs> Surely I should be doing a girl spurt by now. Okay, just uh, I'll just wait for that box to load. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, here we go. Okay, TTS refund. There, you should have gotten your uh, points back. There, that should have been refunded now. So, um, problem sort of solved. Yeah. I didn't realize that they updated the, um, the thing. It's amazing what can happen in, like, the span of a week. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's still not working? Or actually, you know what? Here, I'll, I'll test it so you don't have to spend the points. Let's test a sound alert. Uh, let's see. Robots. Beep boop. Okay, it's working now. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, it's not exactly working how I want it to, but hey, it works. And we'll give it a quick run one more time just to make sure I got everything working. Ah, thank you. Uh, thank you. Inflate my ego. Okay, let's go with Kazaha. Finally, this tree. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's let's complete a daily quest, I guess. Wait, I opened up the wrong menu. Okay, gotta go to my map. Where? Okay, they're, oh, they're not even that far from home. Okay, let's go to the farthest one first. Man, I don't know, I'm kind of surprised by that. In all honesty, like, I'm more surprised by that. Hmm. This shit's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, uh... No, I don't. I don't have the grimace. Shake. I mean, although I will say, um, I have tried it. It's just a fruit and ice cream thing. It's like raspberries and blueberries. I'm assuming. Yeah, at least that's the flavor profile I was getting. Okay. Oh, that's what I gotta do. Okay, so I'm gonna have to change up my characters for sure. Okay, I need a archer of some kind or a spellcaster. So, actually, it looks like I can probably just get away with using my uh, my normal party with uh, Barbara in there. And our new, everyone's favorite, uh, Pyromaniac. Although, uh, Klee is underleveled, though. So, I will probably have to swap her out for someone just a wee bit more powerful. Just a little more powerful. Hmm. Definitely can't use a wind character, though. So... Hmm... Guess I can just use Noel. Although I need to get Noel better gear, though. But I'm not really sure how to go about specking her out. Because like I want to make Noel a better character. Because I've heard that Noel has some surprisingly good healing. If you can spec out her gear like just right. But. Um... I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know how to gear her out. Just what will we come across? This? So I'll just go with the uh, the the traveler for now. Come on. Swift and 
Merciful. Oh, bloody hell. Get down here, you little bugger. chance to use my ultimate there. Oh, well. Oh, and I accidentally tripped the capture card. Fun. Fun for the whole family. Well, except for the guy who tripped it. Being me. Because now I have to untrip it. By uh, doing the old uh, Indian tech support method of turning it off and back on again. Ah, and it works. And like that, it works. It just works. It just works. It just works. It just works. All right, so we gotta. Gotta do this. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh God, it's Ella Musk. Are, are you the one that made the website? Why? <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay, okay. She, I remember this quest. Okay. She basically wants to talk to Hilly Churls. Okay, I better uh, follow. God, I hate this quest so much. All right, let's see. What do you got for me? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I'm just, I'm literally skipping all this because I've already done this quest like a million times. I got that guy. Oh, this guy's only got like one health. Is he dead yet? Uh, I think he's dead. All right. Okay, I need... I need to be using fire. Okay. Okay, this one's not too, too hard. 
This one is, if I remember correctly, recommended to just use a Claymore user in general. So either Chung Yun or Razor. Just the one of the one of the two of them will do it. Although alternatively, you can just break them like stupid fast if you use any characters that generate pillars. So like Geo Traveler or um, uh, what the heck is it? Uh, Geo Traveler or um, Zhang Li could probably do it really fast too. Yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so we got to go over here now, and... Oh, and uh, I, I guess if anyone was curious, um, I actually remember the name of the, the energy drink powder that I was drinking recently. Uh, it's called Energy Rush, or Rush Energy. It's one or the other. It kind of, like, at least in how the packets are set up, Kind of vaguely reminds you of like Crystal Light and the fact that it's a little tearaway packet. They're all uh, sugar free little energy drinks. And the, oh, the weird thing is, um, at least a unique gimmick of them, I guess, is it makes the drink sort of fizzy. Like it's, it's, it's kind of like it's carbonated almost. Like I wouldn't really say it's. Uh, proper carbonation? Okay, let's hit him with the skill. One with my blade. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got to get rid of you three. <laughs> I will say, I do like Chung, uh, Chung Yin's ability, like, you, you can't deny, like, this is a cool ability. It's like, two regular attacks and then suddenly, like, he literally has, like, beams of ice coming out of his sword. Like, that's cool. That is cool as all heck. Okay, so we got that done. Which means I can either... Okay, actually, ooh, what that... How did I miss this waypoint? Um, hmm, okay. Oh wow, there's a lot of waypoints that I've just completely missed. Yeah, we'll just teleport to Sumeru. Because it'll mean slower or faster load time, I guess. Plus I can grab some of the waypoints that I missed over here. Uh, I guess we'll like. Hmm. 
Oh. You know, I actually did have a chance to recently play this on a PS5, actually. I'm going to say right now, the, the improvements that this game gets from the PS5 are kind of negligible. Like, honestly, the only improvements that I really noticed was just faster load times, to be honest with you. Although, to be fair, though, that's more due to, like, it's pretty, like, pretty fast SSD. But, I mean, I feel like that'd be the case if I was to, like, somehow install an SSD to, like, a PS4. Like, it's not much. Like, I think, I think it's graphically the same. As, like, running this on a PS4 Pro, which, by the way, I am running this on a PS4 Pro, so it's not going to look much better. At least from what I can tell. Like, okay, I need to... Okay, okay, let's see. So it's somewhere over here? Oh, there she is, okay. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Thank you for completing today. All right, so daily quests are done. I do find it kind of funny that I was like I do find it kind of funny that there's a Catherine at like seemingly every single one of these adventure guilds and they all look and sound exactly the same Get out of this conversation. I did not mean to click on him. Oh, okay. You've got nothing to sell me. Okay. Never mind. The little icon over his head was misleading. At some point, I need to be able to reforge this bad boy, but I need to get myself a Claymore billet. I need to get more of, um, what is the material called? Oh, right, and I know that, um, Deluc has a chance to recover 15% of the resources, uh, put into crafting it. Like, I'm not gonna bother with this. Like, if I'm gonna craft any Claymores, I'm gonna have to craft the Snow-Tomed Star Sliver. And as for bows, it's probably best for me to just craft more compound bows. Just because the compound bow is probably the more powerful one. If I can. I want to get more of these, the frost bears. Because, uh, like, if you look, like, this is just broken as all heck. Like, hitting an opponent with a normal charge attack has a 60% chance of forming and dropping an ever frost icicle above them. Dealing AoE damage equal to 80% of the attack. Opponents affected by Cryo are instead dealt... So, like, basically, if I could get my hands on a Cryo user of this, this is broken already. However, I could theoretically use this with a water character and then just have a Cryo character with my party. Because when they're frozen solid, they're being affected by Cryo too. So, still kind of broken. So... This would be good for, like, say, Mono, who's more of a DPS in terms of uh, Catalyst users anyways.
at least that is uh, my personal opinion of the matter. I will say, I do find it kind of funny that, like, I was recently looking up a statistic related to this game. And apparently, like, this game is, like, one of the most popular um, search results on um, <clears throat> certain types of um, online media, if you catch my meaning. Ha ha ha. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, the French. We do our, love ourselves some Genshin Impact. Okay, let's swap out uh, the... Oh, sorry, I, I clicked the wrong thing. Let's swap out the Traveler for... Um, someone a little more... A climb... Let's go with Kazuha. Because I like Kazuha's little... Um, updraft ability. Because you can kind of just go... Bloop. Like, just that updraft ability just... Oh, it makes things so much easier for traversal. Plus, well, you're... Plus, you can, like, freely use it, like, once the cooldown... Ah, hey! What up? What is new in the hood? Oh, hydrate. Okay. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's cold. That is freaking cold. Ah! Yeah, sorry, my, my drink is, like, uh, partially frozen, and I guess you could say, like, the, um, the sweat from the outside of the cup, because it's a little warm in here. I uh, decided to roll down my, uh, my shirt. And it's like, ah! <laughs> it's good for the body. It's more surprising when the cold water decides to roll down your top. And it's like, Ah, yes, it is my time to shine. Ah. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. But either way. Nice ice-cold water. With uh, crushed ice in it. Because, I mean, if you're going to get any kind of ice. Crushed ice. Crushed ice is where it's at. Oh, there's a chest over there. I should probably go say hi to those, um, those dudes over there. I should go proceed to beat the crap out of all of them. Oh, I know who I should say hi to them with first. I'll protect us. Start things off with Barbara. Oh, come on. That, that, was that the best they had? Although that one creature dropped a lot of meat. Not expecting that much meat. To be fair, I haven't, like, done too much exploring in this area. Smell of treasure. Strange. Or much in the way of questing. Like, here, like, if I pull up my map, you can, like, see. Like, if I zoom out. You can see, I haven't, like, fully explored this... Like, yeah, I've explored a good chunk of it. But I've kind of just been, like, absentmindedly, like, just kind of, like, roaming about. Like, okay, here's where I should probably go next. Just because I need the, uh, the waypoint. Like, that's where I should probably head next. Has a lot of fruit. And I guess I killed that creature without even trying? Oh, 
Oh, right, I forgot you can't switch characters while jumping. Hmm. You know, I don't know why the hell this popped in my head, but, uh... thing over here. Oh, okay. It replenishes my stamina. Oh, that's useful if I'm, like, ever running low. Hmm. Oh, I was also looking at the news earlier today. Uh, there was one piece of news that kind of upset me and, I guess, a few other friends of mine. Uh, apparently, the upcoming uh, Spider-Verse film, like the new one, was delayed apparently and that's more like I'm honestly sure it's probably due to the whole um, the, the strikes that are going on with the Writers Guild and as well as the um, the SAG the Screen Actors Guild ah oh, this guy again Okay, so I gotta transport this guy. But, I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of, like, what's going on, but, I mean, I, at the same time, I understand why they've gotta do what they gotta do. Just the whole thing's kind of disappointing. Ah, lovely. God, I, I swear, I wish more of this dialogue was, like, voiced... I mean, I understand at the same time it'd be too expensive to warrant voicing, like, all these characters. Some of which will probably only, like, maybe... Yeah, let's just plunge. Lots of meat. Neat. Okay, this is gonna be broken. Swift and merciful. Uh, where, where did the meat go? Did the electricity vaporize the meat? <sighs> Sometimes you just can't get rid of a bomb. And here I am disposing of meat. The meat destroyer. God, I love how overpowered you can make these things by just giving them a small electric boost. And be like, wow. I love how, like, stupid broken some of this stuff is. Oh. Interesting. Fourth of my blade. What I'm doing today. 
I don't, I don't, hmm. I know at some point I want to play something else, but I'm not really sure what I want to play. Uh, how am I doing? Um, uh, doing pretty good, actually. Not sure what I'm doing right now. I think I'm just trying to fill out the map, but other than that, not too bad. Not too bad at all there, otaku dude. Okay, I guess that's where I gotta go. One with nature. <laughs> I didn't say Kotaku, I said Otaku, dude. Not Kotaku, dude. God, I would never compare you to that news website. If you can even call it that. You know, I, I, I find it kind of funny, like, a friend of mine actually did something as a joke. And apparently, like, ChatGBT can, like, write better articles than, like, most of the ones that are found on that website. Which I think is genuinely hilarious. And the fact that they're, like, arguably just as offensive... ...is arguably funny. But at least, like, those somehow have more, like, a higher level of research put into them? But I, I think it has to do with the fact that it's like an AI algorithm or some nonsense like that. But I think that's genuinely funny. I'm trying to remember what the hell was the article it was trying to pump out. Um, I think it was like... Trying to explain why Pong is problematic or something like that. Or... or and then it like suddenly went on like a side tangent about like... How players of Tetris are arguably like these monstrous human beings or some nonsense. Like, it's like, what the? Like, what the actual hell? The AI is somehow making a better article that is honestly funny. Because it actually seems like something Kotaku would write. <laughs> At least that's how it seems to me, anyways. I don't know. Okay, located in a non-outdoor area. Okay, so it's probably inside of a cave. So most likely I'm going to have to go up to the top and there's probably like a cave entrance somewhere at the bottom? Or there's probably like a giant hole at the top. Hmm. I could go for that, or I could just go for... Actually, you know what? Let's go, for the ca go back to the chasm. I might as well try to get the, the waypoint over here. Gotta love those loading screens, am I right? It's like, whoa, yeah, great. <laughs> we love ourselves some loading screens, am I right? Okay, okay, let's just go to the next waypoint, I guess. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Feel free to tell me away. Honestly, it's, it, it's been a long time since I was in school. Uh, field trips are always, like, the best. Well, I, I guess it partially depends on the field trip, too. Uh, let's see. 
This was the button to light them up. Is there another stone or five that I need to trigger? We're back in school there. <laughs> oh, you know what? I you mentioned that. <laughs> Pennywise. You called him Pennywise. Pennywise, the dancing clown. Yeah. Empty chest, good for storage. It's been a while since I've seen the um, the It movies, actually. Because I only recently uh, watched the, um, the hell is it, the remake, I guess you'd call it? Or, I guess the reimagining? I will say, though, the original does have its charm, although the original is more of a TV special. So, I mean, obviously there was a lower production value for the TV version, but... Hey, I think it, I think it worked for what it was at the time. I mean, hey, they just, they definitely made it work. I mean, hey, that's more than you can say for, like, some other studios out there. Where, like, a lot of films nowadays tend to go over budget. Because, for whatever reason, they feel the necessity to, like, put big-name actors on board. And it's like, you don't need to put big-name actors on your film. Because, like, honestly, people don't care about a who, what actors are in your movie. As long as the, the story is good. It's like, you could put, like, um... Like, you could put my cousin, who... Nobody knows who the hell that is on the big screen. And as long as the movie's good, and maybe if it's like a, a, a reliable IP. Like in the case of Mario, people are going to see that regardless of whether Chris Pratt was in it or not. Honestly, that's part of the reason why I think they should have just left Charles Martinet in that movie, but... Eh, I mean, Chris Pratt did a good enough job. <laughs> But we that's weird about the whole... Um, uh, sorry, going back to your little story there. Weird that, like, um... Ronald McDonald... You went out and called Ronald McDonald... Or was it you that called him that? McDonald comes to the restaurant. Okay, you called him that. Okay, sorry. I, I just wanted to double-check on that. Weird that you called uh, Ronald McDonald... Get frostbite. Pennywise. Frozen descent. <laughs> It's time for a flash chill to the bone. A touch of frost. What's new in the hood? Huh? Oh, did that sound alert not go off? Uh, give me a second here. Why are that not... Okay, give me a second here. I'm gonna put a temporary fix on that. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna... Do it. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna have to leave that uh, browser source open. I don't know why the the um, okay. I'm gonna have to fiddle. Oh no, God! Yeah. No God, please no, 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 <laughs> no! Yeah, because I have like a secondary window that like I can have open, which is a little less fancy, because it has simplified alerts. I'll have to fix my alerts later. 
Because I'm supposed to have like more advanced alerts set up. No, okay, can't do that. All right. Uh, can I play God of War? Uh, which one? Like the PS4 one, the original God of War, because I'm pretty sure I have them all. The only one I'm really missing is, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I think I might be missing Chains of Olympus. That's about the only one I'm missing, really. Well, I mean, I, I have it. I just don't have it on um, anything I can really capture from. Because I have it on the PSP. They re-released Ghost of Sparta on uh, PS3. And I bought that on there instead. Because, I mean, I wouldn't mind going through the God of War games at some point. Oh, God of War 2018. Uh, that's the one with uh, Atreus and everything in it, right? You know, I've actually never played that game. I Like, I've had it sitting around for a while. Because it was, um... I got it for free as, like, a promotional thing. But I've yet to boot it up. Despite the fact that I got it for nothing. Smell of treasure. Strange. Although, I will say this, I really do feel like... Because it is, a, it is a sequel to God of War 3. It actually takes place after the events of God of War 3. Because everything in the first three original God of War games still happens in this game. Alright. Get a, get a hydrate. Give me a second here. Ah! Goddamn! Sorry, um... Ah. God. The the sweat from the glass um, went down my shirt again. That's always fun. He said sarcastically. It's like you're drinking your ice cold beverage and the sweat from your glass because it's cold in a nice warm room. Decides, ah, oh, yes, I shall go down this guy's shirt. That's close enough. A new pun to the wind. Oh, I just realized these guys' levels. Um, Swift and merciful. Nice. From whence you came. One with nature. Um. I do have Pokemon Sword and Shield. I have both. Um, I actually started a Pokemon Sword playthrough, but I just never got around to finishing it. And I'm doing like a weird challenge run where anytime a Pokemon dies, I have the option of reviving it. But if I revive it, I have to take a shot of hot sauce in that challenge run. And, uh, or I should say, a larger dose of hot sauce for each Pokemon that I revive, I should say. And I think it got to a point where I was basically taking a, spool, a full spoonful. Hadn't quite, oh god, that is a big mecha. Um, hadn't quite gotten to the point where I was at a shot glass, but I was getting close. I was getting close. Inching my way towards my shot glass. Okay, come on. Fall down, Mr. Level 69 there. Swift 
Get zapped. Down, you, you monster. Oh, okay, you're all the way over there. Gotten hit with that. Oh, okay. What's in the crate? A potato. Empty chest. Good for storage. Ah, yes. A potato. The very definition of what my current PC is like. I didn't realize they define my describe my PC so well. Oh. All right. So let's see. Boy, the waypoint should be. I'm guessing up that mountain there. All right. Guess I better start climbing. Let's switch to Kazaha and uh One with nature. Kazaha to be able to get up there, I imagine. Assuming I don't get stuck in every little fold and cranny and nook. The wind knows me. Oh, okay. They are mostly spaced out. Oh, there's a town to the south. Okay, cool. Neither go. Sorry for the late BRB, just having out with my family. Yeah, no worries. No worries, no worries, no worries. Understandable, my dude. Just, uh,. Hanging out with your family? Okay. You playing any board games? Might I recommend the card game Uno? Oh, how did I miss that little teleport just before the statue? Okay, looks like there's a boat that I can activate there. Or a docking point, I should say. And then from there, looks like... I, I know you meant. I know you meant hanging. <laughs> Say no more. Although I will say that statue in the in the or I should say that mech wreckage is kind of cool off in the distance. Like that is low key kind of cool. Not that giant mecha. No, I, I like mech. Although, uh, a friend of mine was showing me a weird anime earlier. Oh, 
Huh. Well, I guess I might as well start the challenge. Got the got the thing done. Okay, just gotta climb up this tree off to the side. <laughs> Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Huh, neat. Okay, looks like those things stay there. Hmm. But, holy crap, okay, I just realized, 22 months in a row, holy cow. You're almost on your two-year anniversary. Uh, two more months, and it'll have been two years since you've subscribed. GG. Why how the time flies? <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta go. I gotta keep going up. Okay, okay, looks like I can get up over this way. It looks like I can just uh, kind of shimmy along this little. Oh no 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 no! You you're not letting me fall down that easily. One with nature. What is? What are these radiant things for? I, I keep finding these. I have no idea what they're for. I have found several of them, but I have no clue. I mean, if I had, like, more of a clue as to what they're for, I mean... I might make a better assumption? But, I mean, eh. Like, I'm guessing there's probably, like, some kind of unlockable related to them? Or it's something related to the... Um, the Serena Teapot, maybe? Like, I'm just making guesses here. Okay, okay. Looks like I can go over to this port over here. Okay, well, I got the quest over here still. Hmm, okay. Alright, so I still need to spend resin, so here's what I can do. Now that I've gotten this waypoint unlocked, let's, uh... Let's do some quests that I actually need to do. Let's see. Let's refight, uh... Let's refight Child, actually. Child is usually a good thing to grind off of. Ow! Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry, I hurt my butt earlier. Uh. So, I was adjusting myself. Okay, let's see. Let's go Razor. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, I've never s 
played uh, Zelda on the stream. This is not Zelda, though. <laughs> this is uh, Genshin Impact. Very similar, I'll give you that. But not quite the same. Although, hmm. yeah, I'm going to go with the level 70 matchmaking. It's definitely got the Zelda inspirations, I would argue, like, the whole glide mechanic and the ability to freely climb almost anything. Like, oh, look at that, I can freely climb this wall here. They probably, like, saw the trailer and, like, oh, yeah, we'll make our gotcha game with similar mechanics. I heard that originally there was supposed to be a Switch port, but I'm not sure if it's ever going to come into Switch. As all mentions of a Switch version have um, seemingly all but disappeared. Although, I'm not going to lie, I feel like this game could have... Wow. I can show the mouse cursor if I have a keyboard plugged in and hit Alt and the mouse button. Okay, let's see. What do I got for wishes? Um, I mean, I've got a couple games lined up that I've I got like a list, I guess you could say, that I've compiled of games that I've kind of considered doing. Uh, one game that I kind of want to do, just because I've never played it before, I kind of want to play Little Nightmares. Okay, okay, got seven. Okay, I need a few more and I can get my, my ten pull. Ugh, God. Is no one doing child fight anymore? You know what? Screw it, I'll do it myself. Yeah, this is a good enough team. Screw it. I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. I don't need co-op for this. I'll solo it. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. One with my blade. Your evil remains. Oh, there he is. Come on, fall down already. A fine opportunity. Swift and merciful. You've made some progress. Yes, okay, I is he... Oh, that's right, he's switching to his uh, delusion now. So he switched from basically water to electricity. All you do is run. Does your luck run out? As one with wind and cloud. Time to go. No use hiding back there. Come on. All you do is run. Come on. Got you. 
Just gotta keep this up a little bit. Ah, uh, yes, his foul legacy form, which is basically his delusion and his uh, vision combined. Wait, can I not skip this? Okay. Okay, there's a loading screen, I guess, going on behind the, the cutscene. A touch of frost. Let's see, did we get anything worthwhile? We got the Shard of the Foul Legacy. I know that's used for something. I forget what that's used to upgrade, though. Uh, but I... Uh, let's see, if I go to my list here... Yeah, okay. Um yeah, it's on my list here. Okay. Cause I definitely made a list. I know it I know I did that. God damn it, I accidentally Okay, I accidentally minimized my uh, tracking software. Um Okay, so we got child defeated. Let's see. What was the other weekly boss I could do? I guess I could go for the Oceanid. Because the Oceanid, I can get the Gladiator set off, which, uh, if I can get a better version of my Gladiator set, all for it. Plus, I can actually use these Water Stones to upgrade, uh, you know. Although... At the same time, I should probably consider going for um, this fire plant over here because I want to get these horror, these uh, resivine cores because uh, they're actually used to upgrade Klee, and if I can upgrade her a little more, she'll actually be worth using, at least for this level. Because I've, I've been using her in, like, friends games. Because there are a lot a lot of my friends who play this are a lot lower level than I am. Because they play this game a lot more casually than I do. Which I am perfectly fine with. That's why I use lower level characters for them. Oh god. Why the hell is it when I see that enemy just rolling around, I just immediately think... Rolling around at the speed of sound. 
got places to go, gotta follow that rainbow. I gotta go, gotta keep moving now. For what lies ahead, only one way to find out. Just keep on moving away. Protect us. Oh, okay. Well, they went down pretty quick. Smell of treasure. Strange. Hmm. I guess maybe I could do Breath of the Wild. I mean, that is on my list. I mean, another game I was looking at was, um, what the hell is it called? Power Wash Simulator? Because I know that game's on uh, Game Pass. I've been kind of meaning to try that out. Because I'm looking for something new to do next week. Because I'm kind of just, this is more of like a, um, I guess you could say like a break day or a break week before I go into like any serious campaigning. Or like any story-driven games. Are you... I don't know. You know, now that I think about it, after I've unlocked all these characters, I've never really actually gone back to using some of the um, some of the characters you start off with. Like, I've never like I still go back and use Amber occasionally, but mostly just for puzzle solving. But beyond that, I don't think I've ever like really gone back and say gone to use like say Kaya for example. As I've had zero reason to use him again, or actually, and Lisa, I could probably see myself going back and using. Because at least Lisa has some valuable skills that make her at least worth using, in my opinion. Okay, did I get anything cool? Uh, just the ever flame, really. Okay. Actually, yeah, actually. Oh, that's actually where I wanted to go. Goddamn. Uh, okay, go to. Let's go to Klee. Go to Ascend. These bombs so heavy. Okay, I need more of those. I can upgrade those, and I need the mushrooms. Okay, these spawn on the sides of houses. I just really need to explore more of Mondstadt. Heart be pure, evil be erased, mind be purged. Okay, let's see. We can go back to. Um, if we go back to Mondstadt. We can 
probably craft the other stuff with alchemy, right? At least I imagine. At least that's uh, my thought process, but yeah, um, I'm trying to think. What was. Okay, actually, you don't want to pull up my list because I have it written down. Let's see. Got a little notepad file on my desk up here. Let's see. Uh, the list is Persona 4 Golden, Resident Evil 6, uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, Little Nightmares, Plants vs. Zombies, Power Wash Simulator, Omari, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, but I might have to wait on that one a bit. I do have the game. I just uh, might do a little bit of work to get that one going. Just a little work. Just a little. Okay, let's see. We can upgrade to this. So let's craft as many of these as we can. Okay, so we're going to get the blue shards. And then get the purple ones. Okay, and that's what I needed for... God damn it, I wanted to go to characters... Not items. Okay. Go to clean. Okay, so now I've got her shards. I just need the mushrooms and the uh, the seeds. Let's dance. If I'm not mistaken. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, there's usually mushrooms that always spawn on the side of this windmill here. Keep this up. All right, so I just gotta wait for my stamina. You know, actually, I've kind of been meaning to get around to looking up the because uh, I know there's a Genshin Impact comic that apparently like explains some of the backstory for some of the characters. Like, I've heard that apparently Amber has a surprisingly dark backstory. Which I will say, it's like, with how upbeat of a character she is in-game, and how cheery she is in all of her quests and everything, like, you wouldn't expect that. Because usually, like, with uh, characters with dark backstories, usually they're like, Uh, I'm the edgy loner. Uh. My tracking froze. Uh, no one understands what it's like to be edgy and have frozen tracking. Okay, well, it's actually back, but... Uh... <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know, like, it's kind of one thing that, like, kind of surprised me about this game, like, honestly, like, but how dark some of the backstories can be for some of these characters. I missed, I missed some eggs. Oh, there's mushrooms over there. Okay. Okay, let's... Then I stay on a recharge, and we'll just... I do find out a funny... Like, oh, oh. There we go. Got the got the climbing down. Okay. Now we cooking with gas. Because gas, 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 As much as I know about like, 
the music from Initial D. I've actually never watched the anime. I know there was an arcade game, too. I've played the game, though. Because a, um, a movie theater that I went to years ago, um, they had the Initial D arcade cabinet. A lot of fun. But a huge emphasis on drifting in that game. Okay, looks like I bought everything this guy has to sell. I'm gonna hold off using that. Uh, where the heck is the... Oh, there's the teapot. Okay. I will say, I do find it cool that, like, you can essentially, like, go to what essentially amounts to, like, a player home. And, like, go out of your way and try to find stuff or hide stuff or whatever. This realm is true. Okay, let's see. We got, uh... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll go through my recipes and see what I can craft and see what kind of wood I need more of. Okay, you know, I'm going to build the wall pieces actually. So the door, the basic wall. Corner piece, cross section, and I can build a gazebo. Oh, hey, bun. What up? What is new in the hood? Oh, I didn't even notice the, the redeem there for the hydrate earlier. Yeah, long time no see. What is up? What is new in the hood? Huh. Also, weird that the jump scare sound alert didn't go off. I'll have to figure out how... I'll, ugh, I'll have to fix those after uh, stream. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Huh. Give me a second here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do a quick fix. Um, I'm going to pull up my web browser real quick. Uh, thankfully, I can operate this uh, one-handed. But uh, I'm not going to replay that sound alert as uh, because if I know it's coming, it's not going to be as effective. Uh, let's see, login. Yeah, what's going on there? Okay, that's weird. Says it's cute. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to my uh, my alerts tab. No, not my alerts. Uh, what is it? My scenes, I believe. Copy source. Okay, let's see. D -d 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 sound overlay. There it is. Okay. Properties. Control A. Delete. Control V. Enter in the new URL. And there. That should fix it, I think. And let's go back. Go to my alerts. Uh. Go to my 
Okay, so I'm going to try this game to not insect, where the heck is it? Ah, uh, where the heck is it? Dashboard? Uh... Hmm. Uh... Scenes again. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It looks like what I need to do is. Okay, let's go test. No? Okay, that's weird. Ugh, okay. Okay, well, let's try this then. Um, sound alert overlay refresh. The only other option I can think of is maybe I just gotta delete that from my scene and then just add it back. So, add browser source, and while I do that, go Realm Depot. Okay, uh, let's try this. This should work, I think. Okay, that's same overlay. Go to dashboard, go to my alerts. Okay. Yes, hello, doggo. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think sound loops are just broken again.
because I've like, turned a bunch of settings on and off and nothing seems to be happening. Okay, let's uh, turn that off for now. That should fix it, I think. <laughs> oh, fuck no. Okay, it worked now! Uh, I think I fixed it. <laughs> uh, was not expecting that to go off. I thought it'd still be broken. <laughs> uh, well, what do you think about this one, Palpatine? Do it. Do it. Uh, okay. Well, uh, it works now. Okay, um... Well, um, hmm. Let's get the notice board in there. Hmm, let's see what else we got. Ooh, I kind of like the floral swing. Let's add the floral swing. We'll add the, uh, the stairs. Hmm, what else can we add? Somebody tells me those are for like the card game. Ooh, I can I can build couches. I have no idea what the hell this item does, but it looks interesting. Uh hmm, what else can I build? Starting spotlight? Sure, why the heck not? A bunch of flags. We don't need to worry about those. VIP guest bleachers? Nah, we'll skip that. The balloons? Okay. Looks like I bought enough. If you ever have any Oh oh Weird that that startled me. A fart of all things startled me. I hate that that got me. I hate that. I, I genuinely hate that that startled me. That had no right to startle me, but yet somehow somehow it bloody did. And I hate it. But also, it is kind of funny. <laughs> but I also still hate it. Right. 
plants are all set up. Ah, there we go. Let's enter my house. And we'll, um... You know, I actually don't think I've decorated much inside, or redid my decorating for a while, because my house has been more or less the in, uh, the same inside for the longest time. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh. Classy, darker, uh, kind of like the darker aesthetic. Hmm, okay, I guess this requires a specific kind of wall? Does it have to be placed against the wall? Uh, okay, okay. It has to be placed near a wall? Near-ish wall? You know, actually, I'm going to put that in my... I have a room designated as a library, so I'm going to put that in the library. Okay, I like some of these new items. Oh no! Ah, oh, the, the art, the wall art, kind of is uh, clipping through the. Uh... Hmm. Okay. How do I? Okay. Fold that away. We can we can salvage this. We can salvage this. Okay. Just take that off. Hmm, okay, let's see. Where can I put this? Because it has to be put on a wall. Hmm, I guess I can just put this over top the, the fireplace. No rule says I can't have two paintings over the fireplace. Right? Two paintings? Okay, let's see. What can we do for flooring? I guess go with the hardwood flooring out here now. No, I like that hardware tiled flooring. Okay. Uh, nothing really screams anything for me there. Uh. Yeah, let's save the changes. May as well. Hmm, okay, let's see. Oh, cool! Two weeks of uh, summer vacation. Nice, nice. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with uh... let's go with this one. I like that one. It's wholesome. I 
title on Okay, it looks like I need to... Wait, wait. Kaya has a hangout quest now? Since when did he get a... Oh, God. He, he drank the Grimace shake. Ugh. All right, well, you take it easy, then. You rest well and what have you. Hmm. This room is n nice and cozy, though. Oh, you've been working in the morning. Okay, that explains why you're getting a little sleepy. I mean, it is like uh, 9.20 in the morning? Or, sorry, 9.20 at night right now, so... Makes sense that you'd be getting a little tired. Yo, what is new in the hood? Okay, let's, I guess, fast travel back to Monstats. Hmm, okay. Where the heck am I gonna go now? What do I need to do? Better closer! Let's see. Well, I'm gonna see that fire boss respawned, I guess. Eh, so far, so good. Mostly just grinding out uh, resources, I guess. Uh, right now, I'm trying to get the materials I need to uh, level up Klee. Or I should say Ascend Klee. As I've only recently got her. Uh, granted, I got her off stream, but. A. Although, I'm not really sure how I'm going to set up her gear yet. Like, I'll, I'll figure out how I'm going how I'm gonna lay out her gear. Uh, how am I doing? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Made a few small uh, adjustments to a few things. Not too bad. <laughs> Nothing too interesting has happened yet. <laughs> At least, um, so <laughs> far. But to give it time. Ah, thank you. It has a few... It has a few extra features, my favorite of which... Give me a second here, let me, uh... Uh, this one requires a little finagling in my lighting settings. Give me a second, uh, where is my lighting setting here? Ah, there it is. It's under effects. I forgot that I... That it's here. If I lower the lighting... Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, I love that I gave myself glowing eyes. Oh, there's just something so satisfying about just having them. And, like, when the lights are all on, you, you wouldn't even notice. You'd never know. You'd just never Wherever know. in this world I roam. I carry memories of my home. Mm -hmm. This blade. It is the last link I have to the <laughs> land of my birth. Uh, yeah. It's a combination of the app Vroid, which is a model-making software, which is free and is on Steam, and Unity, as well as a little bit of Blender. Not, not much Blender, though. Uh... Blender more for optimization. You know, like, removing a few unnecessary parts here and there. Let the show 
can make that sort of stuff is usually pretty impressed with for the most part because I mean it's not exactly easy to go about making like some of the stuff like I'm I'm just teaching myself a bit about live 2d because I want to be able to make myself a live 2d model at some point but part of me really just wants to be able to do it myself have an idea what I want to do. A touch of frost. I mean, um, no harm in hearing out an idea. I'm open to having my mind potentially swayed. have to be after stream um but i mean sure i guess oh cool the traveling salesman is, is here okay cool okay he's off of that little island eh, it's a shame i don't have any coins left otherwise i'd totally hit him up Okay, so I'm gonna have to hit up uh I have no idea what the cake for the traveler does. What does it do? I'll have to look into that. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Hmm. When will you be as tall as your big sister? Um That is a good question, Barbara. Um, when the game does a time jump, I guess. If it ever does a time jump and we get a second variation of you. Or they just decide to create like a ten years later kind of thing. Because I know some games do that, where like basically... Um, in the case of Fantasy Star Online, you could get like companions that would basically be AI controlled that you could bring into quests in place of actual human players. So if you wanted to play solo, you technically could and just have AI companions follow you around for all the missions where you kind of needed to have co-op in order to really succeed. You could just drag in AIs to fill in the spots. But um, basically when they started ha having time jumps in the storyline, um, those AI companions were involved in the story and you could basically unlock, like, quote-unquote, like, aged-up versions of some of the characters. So you'd, say, get, like, a ten years later version of, like, uh, character A or character B. And some characters were drastically different in their ten years later variants, where some characters were more or less the same, just with a different outfit. And maybe a slight tweak to their skills. Like, um, I remember one character, apparently, like, they were more gun-focused initially, and then in the ten years later thing, they suddenly became more of a melee bruiser kind of character. Which was uh, definitely a, an interesting change of pace. Although they still use guns, but they would also randomly use melee attacks. 
which I thought was kind of cool. It's like a... Oh, no, it's a tree that's rotted out. Okay. I thought this was like another one of the mechs with all the giant robots wreckages that I saw earlier. I got excited thinking it was another robot. Ah, oh, well. Okay, looks like I just need to climb a little more on this tree. Ah, thank God there's like little rest stops here and there. Oh, that's mildly annoying. I clipped into a tree branch there. Okay, come on. Keep going up. Okay, hit a rest stop. Okay, let's keep going up. Yeah, as soon as my stamina recharges. The wind knows me. Hmm. This is kind of neat. Like, just doing all this climbing. wonder, can I actually make it all the way to the top of this tree? Or is it just going to, like, cap me out as to how high I can climb? Actually, wait, am I even looking the right direction? You know... I probably didn't even need to climb this tree. I probably could have just glided to where I needed to go. By just jumping off and going. Oh, well. No harm in doing, I gotta guess. That should do it, I think. Whoop. Follow the wind. Whew. Okay, that was kind of scary. <laughs> and waypoint activated. Okay, next waypoint over here. And that's a fishing spot? Oh no, it's a f fishing association. Oh god, I, I really do not care much for the fishing in this game. Like, I know you sort of need to do it to get some of the, the gear in this game. But at the same time, it's like, the gear's not even that much better than some of the gear I can get normally. So it's like, is it actually worth it? Or should I just not bother? It's like, I really, I don't know what it is with, like, so many game developers' obsession with throwing fishing again to games. There's like a lot of game developers are just obsessed with fishing. Into the wind. I don't know what it is. Like, like it's a weird obsession. Like, Zelda has fishing in it. Genshin Impact has fishing in it. Um, trying to think what else has fishing in it. Well, I mean, this game has fishing in it. Time to go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Probably should have jumped in the water. Okay, let's 
uh, actually probably wouldn't be best to go this way, actually. Looks like the boat dock's not too far from here. Oh! Time to go. One with nature. Okay. There we go. That should do the trick. Hmm. Oh. Um. Okay. Where the hell did that little guy go? Well, uh, looks like the, the, the boat is right over there somewhere. Okay. Uh, oh, there's the boat. Okay, let's see. Where can I go from here? So if I head straight up the... Actually, not here. I'll mark this. Okay. So we can go up the river a little bit. There we go. Pushed them into the deeper water. That that ought to get rid of them. Uh, ow, 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 ow. All right. Wait. Uh, lost track of. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's what I need to interact with. Okay, so I need to switch to a Dendro character. Conveniently, my Traveler is Dendro, so I'll just temporarily switch out for Traveler. There's still a long road. Uh, did I need to hit something else? Party change up real quick. Deploy the lolly squad. Uh, did the game freeze? Oh no, okay. Okay, let's go with the delicious stir fry. Ah, uh, 
interesting. Okay, there's another switch over here. Okay, okay, it looks like there might be something up the hill. Definitely gonna have to go further along, but... Okay, let's see what we got over here. Don't be scared. Yeah. Yep, let's just run away. Run away. We don't need to deal with those plants. There's spooky, scary plants. Is that, is that how you want to play, huh? Okay, maybe I should switch out uh, my build for a more uh, damage appropriate build, I guess? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, what's this? Okay, I just received... Oh, God damn it! I swear... Okay, um, hmm. Let's stick with the... Uh, stick with the classics. Let's stick with the classics, okay. Oh, God. Uh, apparently, I was joking to a friend of mine the other day that... Oh, God, wouldn't it be funny if they wound up announcing a Five Nights at Freddy's character for uh, Dead by Daylight? Uh, looks like that's more of a possibility than I thought, especially because yeah. the fact that, I guess, because there's a movie coming out. But I will say, kudos uh, to the development team for scoring that. I will say, that's uh, definitely one character that I feel like I have to hit with him. Oh. 
Okay, let's try... Best for me to just say screw it and just fast travel where I need to go, huh? Or just wait, can I can I break my way in? Okay, looks like that's connected possibly to that. Is it possibly connected to that cave? Okay. Or it has nothing to do with that cave and it just opens a chest all the way over here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. A reward on the road. Well, I'm not against getting the reward. Just more disappointed. Okay, okay, that's where I need to go. It is just over to that side. There's a little, um. chesty. No, not chesty. That is a. thing. Okay, so I guess I go to the right and the left with the traveler and hit those up. And then the middle one, I guess, opens up when I hit the two on the right and left. So just go. Okay, so I go to that one. Then I go to the other one on the other side. I will say though, um Propagate. Oh, I really was actually pretty accurate. Go figure. Scatter. A reward on the road. <laughs> Interesting about these little um cave drawings. I will say the whole um, Five Nights at Freddy's characters being in Dead by Daylight does not surprise me in the slightest now that I think about it. Propagate. Ah, I taste blood. Get rid of that mage. Get rid of the archer. Because I want to get to this fast travel point. Ah, screw it. I, why climb when I can just snipe him with the magic? Hmm. I 
do at some point want to... Actually, now that I think about it, um, at some point I do think I want to get around to adding some more costumes. I already have a couple ideas of what I want to do. Because I want to get more, like, costumes kind of inspired by, um, some other stuff for, uh, myself. Okay, we're just gonna fly past these guys. We don't even have to fight them. No need to fight them. Just, just keep going past. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you are not sniping me. Sniper, no sniping. Sniper, no sniping. Sniper, no sniping. <laughs> Thank God. Now I now I feel like a Dora Explorer character. And I only know about that show for like passing. For some reason, I remember like a bunch of people that I remember like um, from like years ago were. And it's like, it's weird, because, like, they're still, like, obsessed with the character. And I still don't understand why. They're, like, they're fully grown adults, but yet they're still obsessed with Dora the Explorer. And I've I've seen some high school girls do this, where, where they've gone around wearing Dora the Explorer backwards. I never understood that trend. I mean, I get it. It's cute, but it's like the bags are so impractical. They're tiny. It's like, wouldn't you want a bag that's just a wee bit bigger to, like, maybe be able to store your school books and what have you in? Like, just a little bit bigger? I don't know. Like, hello. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Okay, wants well, dendro and water. Uh, I mean, actually, I, I guess I'd be fine with what I got. I'll just whip in the party with what I got. I should be good to go. Plus, um... Although, alternatively, I could have put Mona on my team, but... Ah, what do I know? I probably won't need her. Although, if I did replace anyone, I'd probably replace uh, Razor and then give Chung Yin Razor's sword for the edit. I see why they want you to have a Dendro character. Okay, looks like I need to find another way to interact. Because there is an invisible barrier in front of this plant. Oh, it's not just in front of the plants. Okay. Well, um, hmm. Wait, can I hit that with hydro? Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Maybe if I hit this plant with... Oh god, I hate the cooldown on this thing. Okay, 
Okay, let Is there something I'm missing here? Something at all? Okay, let's see. We got the plant there that I have to hit. Okay, looks like my water attack can go through the barrier. That's a plus, I guess. I am, like, going brain rot here. What am I supposed to be doing? Glitch or something? Cause there is, because I know the the plant shot up. Oh, I am literally just that dumb. Okay, I just had to tilt the camera up and then I could lock on to the little grapple point. Following orders. The new punchy. Suggestive, huh? With all those um, sound effects. That's the, uh, that's the that's the proper term knowledge, right? Let's dance. Come on, we can do it. Am I now? Am I now? Okay. Well, I am happy that I am talking to the Grand Authority on all things, uh... Allowed and not allowed. Where do you think 
Might go down. Okay, I might need to boost my levels a bit. Might. Following orders. A new punchy Okay, so she's wielding Hydro. A touch of frost. From whence you came. Force my blade. Okay, just gotta get rid of this guy. Okay, come on, my boy. See the last one? Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
think you're going? Scatter! Come on, my dude. You can go down. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. That is what we're smoking tonight. Uh, that, okay, this domain was actually pretty difficult. I'll give it that. At least I think it's difficult. Maybe I'm wrong? I mean, I could be wrong. Not much to be said if I'm right or wrong, really, but... Eh, you never know, you never know, right? Oh well. Still. Still, I got what I wanted out of this. And also, did I inadvertently miss... Oh, no, no, never mind. They reset. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There's four of them. Okay, I think. Okay, so we got two, three, four... Which means there's got to be a number one, right? Somewhere nearby. Oh, you're one. Okay. Oh, might help if I hit it with the right element. Two. Okay, then that's three. So we just gotta hit, wait for my cooldown and then... And then finally... Uno row number four. Scatter! Oh! It was really that easy. A reward on the road. Okay, let's see. We can either go south and go for that waypoint. Or I can go north. Or I can go sort of south uh, west. Southwest. Let's go southwest. Because it feels like I can more easily do that. At least that's my belief on the matter. I, I could be wrong. Eh, but what do I know? I'm just a big dumb. Uh, okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, I guess it's further up? It's either further up or further down, I'm not sure. Eh, well, let's, uh, just, I guess... 
Go with the flow, I guess. Okay, you know what? I probably do need something to hit and break those. Something very specific to break them. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna make a fuss over it. Let's go towards the glowing light, I guess. Not that I really know all that much. Okay, so we got that over there. This over on this side. I mean... Hmm. I guess I could just... Oh, no. I have to go up a tree. Uh, I'm not... I'm not gonna have fun with this, are, am I? Okay, that that one's basically all but dead. Scatter! Oh. Neat, I guess. Something tells me I need to go to that shack later on for a quest. Okay, the camera like randomly shifted in that direction. What is that supposed to mean?
Okay, there we go. Propagate. All right, then. On forth thou, where thou shall I go? Blah -de blah blah blah. Oh, you know what? I, I don't know why the hell this just made me remember this uh, for some reason. But um, there was something I was actually reading, uh, or not really reading, but I was looking at YouTube earlier. And I got really excited over looking at this. Um, it's an old PS1 game, but I, I, I really love this game. And it's like been forever since I've. since they've. Uh, had like a playable like a means of playing this other than going back and like getting a PS1 copy of it um, in the European region it was called Tombi and in the American regions it was called Tomba not really sure why they named it differently in different regions but I, I digress um, honestly um, uh, Tomba or Tombi whichever you prefer um, is getting a physical uh, and digital re-release for um, next-gen hardware, I guess, technically. So, P5, P4, Switch, you know, the, the, and uh, PC uh, via Steam, I believe. So, you know, the whole kit and caboodle, which has me uh, very excited, as uh, Tomba was one of my favorite PS1 games. Which leaves me wondering, are they going to do the same with uh, Tomba 2, I wonder? nearby pulling the strings on this thing. It's Mr. Hat over here, the one play, pulling the strings. Okay, you are most definitely not the one pulling the strings, although these three sure as hell probably are. Fourth, my play. Spirit play. Attack! Okay, gotta get rid of the ice. Ice one. A lot of shiny stuff. Wings, sparkle, 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 sparkle. I do not know words. I'm just getting a lot of those peaches, aren't I? All right, let's see.
Whoa, that is trippy as all hell. Hold on, something tells me that opens up later. Uh, you know, I'll come back here later. Let's, uh, let's go back for that fire boss again. I know I need to grind it out a little more anyway, so... Let's go back for you. As I wish to upgrade my Klee. I would like one upgraded Klee, please. With, um, extra deadly doogly-doos. Yeah, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. Doogly-doos. Doogly-doos? digitally doo doo dads Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the words I'm looking for are. And I am going the wrong way. Uh, well, might help if I go the correct way. Actually, wait, how close am I to getting everything for Klee anyways? I'm morbidly curious. Okay, let's see. Still need more of her mushrooms. The mushrooms are not super duper hard to get, so... I figure I'll just bounce around a bit. Maybe join other people's instances. I could probably steal some mushrooms off of people's houses and what have you. These bombs so heavy. This is the item I'm gonna be having to work the hardest for. Because I can maybe get two of them. That's what? Two per boss run and like, how many do I need again? Okay, it was I need eight of them. I've got four. So heavy. So I need to do at least two more, I'm guessing. If I'm lucky, I can probably do it in one. Because I heard you can get them to drop four. But uh, the likelihood of that happening is very low. But hey, it's worth it. If I can get it to drop more than two, then I mean, hey, all the more power to me, right? All right, let's actually um, change up the party member real quick. Because we do not need the Traveler for this one. Traveler, you can go away. We're going to get... Uh, let's put Noel on the team. I will protect you. I must leave no stone unturned. <laughs> She's not doing too badly for damage.
Alright, what do you got for me? Okay, that's one more run of this I need to do. I think. At least one more. Because I know you can also sometimes get only one on a run through this thing. So, at the very least, I need to do any at least one more run. Two in worst case scenario. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Uh, hmm. Okay, nothing going on over there. Uh, let's see. How long have I been going? Okay, I've been going three hours. Huh. Thought it was longer for some reason. Alright, let's see. Well, I guess I might as well get the TCG quest out of the way. You know, I've actually not really played around with the TCG all that much. I played a little bit of it. I do think it's kind of interesting. Although, at the same time, it is, a l at least with regards to the, how the, the canon works. Because if these, because they do play the card game actually in the game itself, but I, think, I do think it's a little weird for, like, characters to have cards of, like, actual people that are not necessarily, like, historical figures or whatever. Like, I don't know, it just seems a little weird. Like, within the context of the story. Ready for our duel? Mm-hmm. All right. Let the duel begin. Hmm. Neat that we both basically have identical hands for the most part. Because it's Diluc, Kaya, and um, Sucrose. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to keep my hand, actually. Unlike the adventure challenge you tried previously, duels are true tests of strength between two players. Yes. In a duel, your opponent can also use action cards, and they'll also be able to grab new cards during an end phase. Okay. At the same time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take actions, so you'll be unable to view their intent. <laughs> Are you ready? It's time for some exhilarating fights to the bitter end. Muza! Okay, let's choose. Ready when you are. Okay, I'm going to choose that one, that one, and that one to re-roll. Ah, okay, that's mildly annoying.
Freeze! Okay, what's she gonna do now? Absorption test. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't mean to switch to Diluc, but okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I actually have to hold the button, okay. Didn't realize that's how it worked, but okay. I want to help. Okay. Nah, I think we'll just stick with what I got. Okay. Absorption test. Okay, so it looks like I have to use... Okay, I need artifacts on the board, okay. Ooh, hello, that's interesting. This could be a good hand. Okay, let's see. We're gonna re-roll that, 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 
and that, along with that, and that. Eh, uh, not the best roll, but hey, it'll have to do. Free. Okay, choose one summon on your side of the field and grant it one plus usage. Okay. God damn, I should have used that. Oh well. Insufficient elemental dice. Okay. This will be interesting. Yeah, then we'll just end the turn. Okay, because we got the... Okay, because we got Kaya out on the board. We should probably be focusing on... Okay, so we got two fire, a wind, an ice, two water, and two geo. So we want to reroll basically all of that. Oh, perfect, okay. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Revert the elemental dice spent to Omni Element times two. Sure. Choose one summon. Your current active gains one energy. Next time you use a switch. What's your name? Hmm. Now yeah, let's just let's go with the uh... Dodge this Need to make a just darn. I didn't factor that into the equation. Alright, so he hit me with fire. Um, is it my turn yet? Ah, okay, I'm still waiting.
Okay, I need more ice. Okay. Elemental tuning. At least I can do that. Dodge this. And I guess I might as well switch. Active Let's with finish this dilute. swiftly. And then end of the round because I've got no mana left. Alright, this should work out, I think. Okay, I got two fires. Okay, and. Ooh. Okay, let's just. We'll just re-roll these three and hope for the best. Ah, cool, got another fire. Perfect. Okay, my opponent declared the end of the turn. Okay, end round. There can be no excuse for this thing. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I should probably be switching Sucrose to my front, so I need Animo. So we're gonna basically just get rid of everything that isn't Animo and hope for the best. Perfect. Now we're cooking with gas. Now nah, we'll just switch characters. I I can do it. Is that really it? That's not a very good tutorial, if you ask me. Oh, well. I lost when we had the exact same character cards. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. Every decision is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's body. That's not how the rules work, Sucrose. Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in TCG circles. Oh, 
I am sorry. I was beaten fair and square. I know that. I just can't stand losing. But it was a fun match. You went easy on me. Paimon didn't know you could get so competitive, Sucrose. I always get a little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, too. It always gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's an alchemy genius like Albedo around to compare myself to. Uh, lost me at alchemy and experiments. But I'm pretty sure it's normal to feel that way. Playing cards is no different. Each game you lose makes you want to win the next one to settle the score. And the desire to win pushes you to improve your strategy and build a better deck. <laughs> Seizing victory through a winning combination of luck, skill, and experience is where all the fun of genius invocation lies. But what if you keep trying and trying and never win a single game? A losing streak, uh, yeah. That'll definitely get you down. But it's way better to keep trying until you win than to just accept you're a plain old loser and get Honestly, up. um, I agree with that <laughs> to a certain extent. Sometimes it's, like, good to, like, just maybe get some help from, like, someone who's actually, like, thoroughly whooped your butt, so to speak, and maybe get some pointers on how you can go about improving yourself. And then try again, because, like, honestly, at that point, it's like you do need the help to kind of improve. Because if you keep going at it by your, like, without any kind of insight or guidance, you're, you're just going to keep, like, fighting against a, you're basically working your way against a brick wall, so to speak. Hmm. You make a good point, Diona. At least that's how it is with card games, in my experience. Besides, Sucrose, you're already making great progress. It'd take at least eight of our regular booze hounds to match your level. You played well this last match. Thank you. I'm just a little disappointed to lose, that's all. But Genius and Vacation TCG is a really fun game. Good! Having fun is the main thing. If you ever want to play again in the future, feel free to come by the cat's tail. Uh, but don't expect me to play with you. I just mean, this place probably has the right atmosphere. I'll definitely be back. All right. I think you should have all the basics down by now. I need to get back to bartending. Sheehan's likely been busy making his tavern more popular with his delicious cocktails. Pui, pui, pui. And we can't have that. Hmm. Huh. Burning Mondstadt's wine industry to the ground keeps me pretty busy, you know. So if you need any more help, go on the I, I think it's kind of funny that, like, basically she wants to bring Mondstadt's wine industry to the... burn it to the ground. But ironically, like, she can't make bad drinks no matter how hard she tries. She could somehow manage to get her hands on the worst ingredients to make a drink, like, literally, like, dirty sock water. And, uh, water from, like, a fancy French toilet or some nonsense like that. And, um... I don't know. Skunk juice. Mix that all together and somehow still make the most beautifully tasting drink of all time. Not sure how she'd manage that, but I will say that I do love the atmosphere of this place. I see. So you have now grasped the rules of Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> That's right! The Travelers, Sucrose, and Paimon are TCG players now! Uh, Paimon picked it up from watching you and Sucrose. Haha, -ha, yes, of course. It all makes sense. Becoming a TCG player is not as simple as that. You cannot call yourselves true TCG players until you have passed the test. <sighs> Sobering words from Prince there. But I'm afraid he's right. To become official players recognized by the Genius Invocation TCG Society, you have to pass the test. It's just a tabletop card game. I'm not sure how you would plan on achieving something like that. Uh... Magic. Basically, to become an official and recognized TCG player, you have to best three opponents in a duel. So, 
You have to win three duels against three different opponents? The duel you just played can count towards this tally. I agree. Although I didn't get to observe the match myself, I did listen along. And from what I could hear, you both performed at a rather high level. Same way you can hear what Prince says? A well-trained ear is a basic skill expected of anyone hoping to become a TCG master. But back to the matter at hand. The Traveler only needs to beat two more opponents to become an official TCG player. Sucrose, you may have lost the last duel, but don't be disheartened. I can assure you that winning three games is well within your ability. <coughs> but first things first, Shuyen. Before that, our TCG newcomers should receive their free gift. Ah, oh, yes, my goodness. Completely slipped my mind. I'm lucky to have Prince here to remind me. Everyone who wants to start playing Genius Invocation TCG... Oh, Tameis mentioned it, didn't he? It was from the light novels he's been reading. Oh, okay. The thing that the main character found in his attic. Oh, oh he's that right. now. The soul hmm. of an ancient TCG player was trapped inside, right? So the casket of tones is actually real? Uh, well... Actually, all card cases in Genius Invocation TCG are called Caskets of Tomes. Not only do they provide a reliable and sturdy container to store your decks, they can also sense when other people in the area are also carrying a Casket of Tomes with them. Oh, Paimon can guess what you're gonna say next. The reason they can sense each other is because they have the souls of ancient TCG players inside. That Highly doubtful. An extraordinarily high number of people in history have been turned into disembodied souls as a consequence of playing card games? No. The real reason that it can sense other caskets is because it holds a nifty little mechanism invented by Sumeru scholars. Darn! What a letdown. Oh god, it's basically a glorified dual disc from Yu-Gi-Oh. All caskets of tomes are issued by Margaret, so you will need to see her to claim yours. Probably for the best. If Prince and I were responsible for handing them out, knowing how eager we both are to promote the game, we'd probably have dished them all out by now. Okay, so go and see Margaret to claim your casket of tomes, use it to find another player, beat them in a duel, and then come back here. But even for the Traveler, that's only two wins in total. What about the last one? I shall choose the final contestant he must beat in order to become an official TCG player, for it must be one of comparable prowess. Excellent plan, Prince. Happy dueling, both of you. Yes, of course, of course. Tis for the best, tis for the best, of course. Oh. Ah. Hmm. What shall I do? What shall I do? What shall I do? Dilly dally, shilly shelly. Dilly dally, shilly shelly. <laughs> All right, Margaret. Hello, you three. Has little Diona finished teaching you the rules of genius invocation? Ah, mm -hmm. I see you're here for your casket of tones, aren't you? <laughs> A very useful tool indeed. Ah, yes. It looks like a regular dual box, like a deck box. So this is a casket of tones. Not gonna lie, it kind of just looks That's like the, right. the deck box is from Match the Gathering. Deck. They can even detect when someone else nearby is carrying one. Gosh, whoever invented this must have seriously disliked being alone. Yeah, well, even the most fun game is pretty lonely if you got no one else to play it with. <laughs> True. Excuse me. 
So I'm glad that these customers, um, <coughs> TCG players, are able to congregate at the cat's tail. You're not wrong, but that's secondary. The important thing to me is the opportunity for like-minded people to come together and enjoy their favorite hobby. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, now that you have your caskets of tomes, it's time to find some opponents. All right. In that case, I'll go find some people to play. Oh against God! Him. You can trust I'll in the heart of the cards. In a while. Trust in the heart Thanks. of the cards. I'll do my best. God damn it! Oh, I can edit my deck from there. Okay, okay, let's equip the thing. I'm hungry. Create a new deck. Let's hunt. Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. Search for opponents. Okay, so it looks like there's an opponent over by the front gates. This guy. It's you. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can assist the two of you with? We want to become official genius invocation TCG players. But we have to pass the test first, so we need to be three players in a duel. Our casket of tomes led us to you. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, I'm on duty right now. Crap. But it's time to I see you're about this. duel. Very well. As a fellow TCG player, I cannot refuse an earnest invitation to duel. <sighs> so be it. Then let the duel begin. It's time to do 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 Yep, the Paimon card's good. Okay. Okay, so he's got three hilly churls. Let's start with... Uh, we'll choose will be Kaya as our starting character, I guess. Probably should have chose... Um, Oh, no. Okay, I chose the wrong character to start with. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ooh, okay. Actually, you know what? We could still sort of make this work. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, so he's shooting me. Oh, okay, I'm getting attacked quite a fair bit. Okay. Okay, what do those cards do that I just got? Come on, ice. I mean, I'll take that, I guess, but... Don't have any of those elements, so we'll re-roll those. Yeah, we'll have to do. Okay, let's see. Dendro, Animo, Electro, Pyro. Okay. Okay, let's give... Let's give this hat to... Uh... Okay, so you're still hitting on me, huh? Oh, so so. Okay, so I gotta use another card, okay. When you perform a switch, spend one less elemental die. Let's go. Is that how you're going to be, huh? Hmm. Oh, how I wonder what will happen next. Oh, wait. End round. Okay. I was waiting for a turn that wasn't going to happen. Okay. So let's see. What are we getting for my new hands? Another Paimon card. Okay, so you two are useless. So are you, and so are you. And because we're not going to use Kaya, we'll re-roll that too. Okay, that is somehow better than I thought it would have been.
there can be no excuse for the thing. This will be interesting. Well, that battle was kind of pathetic, but I mean, at least I still won. So I can't necessarily complain, but I would have liked to have won a little better than that. But the battle still felt kind of one-sided. I think it's just because the fact that he's using a hilly churl deck. It's like, why the hell are hilly churls so weak in that card game? Like, you'd think that they'd... Although, at the same time, I wouldn't mind getting, like, some big bads. Gosh, I lost. You're remarkably good at this, considering how new to the game you are. Let's play again when you have some time. But ideally, not when I'm on duty. We did it! Now we have two victories under our belt. Let's get back to the cat's tail. Paimon wonders who Prince is going to pick as our final contestant. Oh, it's going to be Steve from marketing. F that guy. Hmm. Oh, I wonder who they'll have me say against. It's probably going to be the cat. Just watch that. I sense that he had what it took to become an official TCG player, but he has returned to the tavern more quickly than I had expected. Yeah. Defeat the opponent I have arranged for you, and you shall become an official TCG player. I look forward to watching this game immensely. Not just Prince. I can't wait either. Come, your opponent is waiting for you in one of the private rooms. He won't lose to them, whoever it is. Right, Trevor? Naturally, of course. Oh no. No, it's Mona. No, wait, no, that's official. That's official. Yeah. Your opponent sounds anxious to begin. Do not delay. That's what Prince said. Please enter and enjoy your Genius Invocation TCG Duel. Oh, it's... it's, it's official. Paimon knew it! It's official in odds! Who else but the Princessin? For, as the name of this hallowed rite suggests, only when the wisest of heroes is summoned, can the master of cards hope to be crowned the champion? Ho oh, ho You fool. This path is a treacherous one. It must be tread with great caution. For eternal doom and damnation are but one wrong step away at any given moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... Yeah? That is why none is more suited to appear in this audience chamber than the Princessin, whose Alg de the Ertalong des Grossen Kaleido Phantasmus has witnessed 10,000 uh -huh. battles across 3,000 worlds. Oh, is that right? Sure. Indeed. Ming Fräulein has watched many games of Genius Invocation TCG and has gained a solid grasp of the rules. Even in a duel between beginners, it is best that both participants are well versed in them. Oh, that's true. Hmm, yes. A duel between beginners. Ah, this makes sense now. Prince did say that he was going to pair us with someone of a similar skill level. Guess that means Fischl hasn't been playing that long either. Hmm. The princessin needed but a single glance at these mere machinations of mankind oh, to discern God. their working principles. Oh, Thus, God. with speed and brilliance paralleled by lightning alone, do I now arrive here at the gateway to yonder circle of secrets. 
Main Fräulein, too, has bested two opponents thus far, and is therefore one step away from becoming an official TCG player. So there's a lot on the line, huh? Either Fischl or the Traveler is gonna come out of this duel as an official TCG player! Indeed. Oh, the princessin herself heeds the call of fate and descends to this realm from the Eminem. I implore you to consider less odious turns of phrase, lest you be forced to feast on your words in the fullness of time. What? Uh, I shall not lose, Oz! What say you, Outlander? Do you wish to make an enemy of me, the Princess Endeavor Ertelung, who even now begins to strum the strings of fate that shall sound out the Traveler's Requiem? Then I say it is time to see what you are made of. Oh god. Of course she has a card of herself. Of course she does. Of course, of course. It would make it would make no sense for her to not have a card of herself. Okay. Uh probably best to not use this card. Ooh, actually, that could be still really useful. Okay, we don't need Dendro. We don't need Geo. Okay, we'll swap those out for something better. Oh, that is a cute little card. I love it. Ah! Okay, probably best to start with Kaya. Ready when you are. All right, we got Kaya on the board. Okay, we got two ice. Perfect, okay. Uh, let's swap out my lightning and my dendro. Reroll those. Ooh, two more ice. Perfect. Shift, okay, shift energy from two most of your characters stand by. Okay, we're gonna use. Okay, let's use this. For now, and then. Use skill. Cool it! Let's, uh... Let's hit her again with, with a three damage for ice. And we have to end my turn. Because all I have is one fire energy left, and I can't really do much with that. Oh, cool. A free energy. And we got... Uh, okay. Let's swap up. Let's re-roll those. I'll make that work. Okay, okay, let's let's play a Paimon. Oh, it has to be three of the same. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll skip playing Paimon for now.
Okay, so it has to be two of the same. Okay, well, we're going to still use the Dendro. This moment will be frozen in time. All right, so we got that going on. Whatever will I do? Whatever will I do? Let's see. What I've got going on now. Okay, well, the Dendro can go. Or actually, no, no, no. Because the Dendro are both the same element. There, I've at least got. Okay, we can play Paimon. with the basic attack. Oh, this is but a small oh. sacrifice necessary to achieve ultimate victory. Is it now? Ending turn. I am not liking the fact that they get to go first, but okay. Uh, okay, I'm not liking that. I want to help. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Because his ultimate's still active. Okay, I see. Oh, 
okay, okay. All right. Well, I mean, at least I'm doing damage, so I'll take what I can get, I guess. Wait, she's ending her rounds? Well, that's going to end badly for her. Could it uh, what happened? Oz, with lightning, twitch the upper and lower mandible. Strike thy pointy beak into this obstacle and remove it from my path. Main Fräulein. I cannot simply attack the traveler. Oh, 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 sore loser. A sore loser is she. A sore loser is she. Okay, let's switch to. Actually, give me a second here. I need to check. Let's see. Uh, okay, his cost thing. Wait, does... Okay, that removes the cryo cost, I think, doesn't it? So... Okay, so his thing should still cost two, so... If I spend Ready the pyro... You. So now, on my next turn, he's going to die. There's no if, ends, or buts about that. He is definitely going to die. Let's go with uh, sucrose again. I, I can do it. <laughs> now see what happens to those who dare defy the princessin. Oh no, it, it, it's not going to go as well as you'd you'd think, there, princessin. That uh, kind of did a lot quicker than I thought it would. I has a winner is I. Oh, the cursed dragon looms near once more, casting its dark shadow on the slender threads of fate, hiding them from my vision. Traveler, was even this part of your plan? I have a mad hack source, so yes. What a truly ingenious plot, and what an exciting duel to witness. Congratulations, you've won three duels now. That makes you an official TCG player. Yeah! Oh, Sucrose, you're back! Uh, does that mean... 
Uh, yeah, she, uh, she stabbed three guys in the alleyway. Yep. I've won two games so far. When I got back, I heard you were in the middle of your final duel. So I came over to watch. Yeah, after stabbing two guys in the alleyway. The, the third guy? Uh, the, no, it was just two guys. It was just two guys. The third guy was already stabbed when I got there. Yep. Hmm. It seems I am forced to admit, fellow voyager of the stellar void, that your mastery of the cards is second to none. To commemorate your glorious ascent to a battlefield beyond this lowly mortal realm, I grant thee an incarnation of my majesty in miniature. As you embark on this ingenious vocation, May oh. you wield it in battle oh God, she basically is giving me a card. Fated foes, that not a single one of them may be left standing. Main Fräulein wishes to give you a Main Fräulein character card. Wow, it's Fischl's character card! Tis a mere token of such. To the victor of this splendid duel is a boon of commensurate splendor due. Oh, um... Excuse me, ma'am. I am also a beginner who has won two games so far. Might I also have the honor of joining you in a duel? If you would be willing, of course. Nothing would delight me more. I hereby grant you permission to join oh, me God. in performing the oh, hallowed God. rite the of genius invocation. The cringe is real. One other thing. When I got back... Prince and Shuyun said there was something they needed to give you, if you managed to become an official TCG player. Probably not. Oh, Paimon bets it's some kind of prize for making it as an official TCG player. Let's go get our prize! You know what? He's, she's probably right. With three electro dice. I summon my eternal familiar, Osvaldo Krasnavine, to my side. Heed my invocation! But, Main Fräulein, I have been by your side all along. <sighs> I mean, in the game, Oz. Hmm. Then, I'll use chaotic entropy to oh invoke a large wind spirit. That deals increased damage when it carries an element other than animal. So. Oh! So be it! One shall not be swayed by such a feeble attack! God damn it. I, I, I am too amused by that. Ah, oh, so it was you who won the duel in the end. I knew you'd do it. Congratulations! You are now officially recognized members of the Genius Invocation TCG community. Very well done. Now, I will explain to you what becoming an official TCG player entails. Okay. The first thing all new official TCG players receive is their TCG Player's Handbook. This handbook tells you exactly what you need to do to become a top-tier TCG player. Make sure you read it. Secondly, a range of Genius Invocation merchandise is now available for you to purchase here at the Cat's Tale. <laughs> so you see, becoming an official TCG player is really just the first step. And thirdly, whenever you wish to play a game with a friend, you can use the invitation board there. Whoever you wish to duel against, simply invite them to the tavern for a game. Yes, it's right by the bar counter. Once you get the hang of it, you can play with your friends whenever you want. Neat. That's it, really. If there's anything else you didn't quite understand, you can always come uh, and no, ask I me. No, I pretty much understood that. Pretty straightforward. Yes, indeed. I'm quite sure they will. Oh, sorry. I forgot to translate for you. Prince would like to say... Hope you have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG. That cat is uh, really talky. Talkative.
I gotta dig these rooms. You know, I'm gonna. Have, I'm definitely gonna have to set up a room. Wait, what? Wait, what? What's Tubby doing here? Hello there. What are you doing here? That is a good Wait, question. What is? And how did you get out of the Serena teapot? You can do that? Of course I can. Ah, uh, but this is your first time seeing me outside of the teapot realm, isn't it? Uh, yes, very much so. Although the Adepti created teapot spirits primarily to manage and maintain their teapot realms. Our hmm. movements How's are not restricted far? to those uh, So far, so good. For instance, there's Chubby, I'm sorry, Jade Seeker, who travels far and wide to gather the rarest treasures in the land. Oh, but it is true that I, in contrast, rarely leave the teapot realm at all. Oh, okay, Chubby. Ah, Kaima gets it now. Well, since you so rarely leave, what's the occasion today? Indeed not. Although it may surprise you to learn that the reason I was sent here still has to do with the card game. Of course it has to do with the card game. Um, and as it happens, it has something to do with the Traveler, too. Well, as I'm sure you've discovered, with the rising popularity of Genius Invocation okay. TCG, Inviting a friend to a duel in the tavern has become a fun way to pass the time. There's just one little problem. Many invitees currently have to travel an enormous distance to get here, turning the whole thing into quite an ordeal. I have therefore been sent here to create a little game room using oh. the same Adeptus art as is used. I didn't realize you had to be level 32 to do the card game. That way, anyone with an invitation will need only to think the thought, and they will instantly appear in the game room. You will be free to use the room whenever you wish to invite a friend to duel, and it will be far more straightforward for them to take you up on the offer. Wow! This will make things much easier! But what if Margaret finds out? Okay, she so you play the five games. She's not renovating her tavern with your Adeptus Arts, is she? Five days. Um, that shouldn't be a problem, since the realm will not be physically located within the cat's tail. Besides, we obviously sought the owner's permission in advance. She was quite enthusiastic. Oh, Li Yue's Adepti arts sound pretty useful. Could you double the size of the tavern while you're at it? Unfortunately, my mastery of Adeptus arts is not sufficient to achieve this. Yep. Say. Yep, fair enough. Anyway, it's great that you're here. I was expecting to have to wait until your next visit to the teapot realm to fill you in. Right then, let's get started. Oh. Okay, that should do it. Over to you. Now you can invite friends to duel with you in this room wherever in the world they are. I, oh, and I almost forgot. A guy from the tavern wanted me to say this to you. Hope you will have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG. Calm down, Tubby. Calm down. It's just a card game. Ask about player level. Ah, cool. Oh, my adventure rank? Uh, give me a second here. Uh. Uh. Let's see. Ah. Okay. I can see.
Ah, okay, I need to raise my card level. Uh, adventure rank 45. Uh, let's see. Uh, who's my main? Uh, <laughs> right now, uh, Razor, I guess, is my main. I kind of flip back and forth between using Razor and Chung Yin. Uh, those two I find really gel well together. Uh, because if you, because of how I have them both equipped. Uh, Chung Yun, basically just, I have a bunch of equipment to basically increase his elemental damage and his cooldowns. And in the case of Razor, just more stuff to out increase his damage output. Plus I gave him, like, the, uh... Although this sword that I have him equipped with basically just does more damage if the enemy's affected by Cryo, so that's why I have, uh, Chung Yun. Speaking of which, actually... Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, right now I'm... Although I do need... I do want to upgrade my Klee a little more, though. Because I want to be able to use Klee soon. And uh, currently my Klee is not the greatest. But uh, fingers crossed I can get her to, you know... Be like a top-notch... Oh, well, uh, I guess I can... Nah, I think I'll just wait. Okay, because I want to kill this uh, fire thing here. Yeah, I mean, I only recently got her. Uh, I got her, like, before her uh, banner ended. So I got a little lucky on that one. That character yet, to be fair with you. And another reason why I like Razor. use some. Razor was basically a JoJo protagonist. Ah, bloody hell. Ah, uh, we can snooze the ad. There we go. That'll give me an extra six... M oh yeah, Razor's fun. <laughs> Razor is a fun character, honestly. I, I find that some people like just immediately dismiss Razor like once they get access to certain other characters, but it's like I don't know. I like him. Razor is baby. 
But yeah, basically I just used Chung Yun and Razor. Although I need to actually what do I need to raise up Chung Yun? Oh. Uh, I should probably be farming Core Lapis, okay. I wonder when I'll be a And what you Oh, actually I've already got most of what I need. I just need to get to an alchemy station, okay. Go figure. Lenny... Oh, that's the new 5-star? Okay. I'll have to take a look at a trailer for them. Okay, I have no choice but to deal with an ad now. Whether I want to or not. Oh, the trailer isn't out yet. Gonna come out August 7th or something. Okay, okay, okay. I'll have to look that up on my own then. Just because uh, I know that MiHoYo's kind of like very... Not very fond of the leaks. MiHoYo is like very anti-leaking. Okay, so it's just art so far released. Okay. Okay, so I need to upgrade... Let's see. Upgrade from this. Let's max out the masks we're using. And then from this... Let's crank out as many of these as we can. And then what else did I need? I guess I needed more of these, so let's... More of these. Well, I mean, Razor is only a four star, and you can get him in practically every banner, so. At least he's not the hardest character to get. It's literally just luck of the draw. This realm is truly be. Oh wait, let's see. How how are my furnishings that I've crafted coming along? Oh, your only electro is Lisa? Fair enough. Although I know you can make the traveler electro too, but you have to have access to Inazuma to do that though. If you ever have any qu I mean that's not exactly favorable. Like, just to have to go out to, like, a really far away location just to get, like, one character tricked out. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Where the heck is Tubby? Oh, there's, there's Chubby. Come on, Chubby. The one before you is known as Jade Seeker. One. Okay, what does he got? Ah, so. Encounters with fine treasures. Okay, he's got. I do not have enough for those. Okay. All right, I'll have to come back to that later. Oh, apparently I got an achievement. Oh, it's related to the TCG. OK, 
Okay, let's see. I keep watch. You leave, you call me. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I, I found like honestly, like the first half of the the child fight is actually the hardest part. He gets easier around the second half. Like, I kind of just rushed him with the Razor for the most part. Razor kind of, like, broke him. Although, I will say, um, I wish there were more unique boss fights. Like, with, um, the hell is the dragon called Storm Terror, I think it was called? Uh, I mean, Raiden, um, okay, like, do you care about spoilers? Because, um, I can say something about Raiden that'll tell you, yes, it is, in fact, harder. Uh, okay, okay, fair enough. Um, well, Raiden can disable, uh, several of your character's abilities. Just outright disable them. Because uh, she has, like, a ability to basically disable visions. So, basically, all of your vision-wielding characters, which is, like, 99% of the cast, uh, are essentially are useless. So, you will have to use the Traveler. As the Traveler is the only character that is 100% immune. An assassin from our homeland? Or a fool? who trespasses upon the waters of Chingsa. Coveting the shapes of the living, pure water can take on many forms. In this way, shall water deliver your punishment. Oh yeah, you're gonna want to level up the traveler for sure. Although you could probably use him as a dendro. Alternatively, if you're not gonna use him as a dendro, uh, Geo would be probably a good close second. Well, I mean, I find that the Geo one is probably one of the better ones early on. I mean, fair enough. Honestly, I use Barbara for my heals. Although, Noelle can do heals, too. Alternatively, if you have access to Jean, uh, Jean can... Uh, do heals too. One with my blade. Uh, so can Bennett. Uh, hopefully that helps you decide on. Uh... One who is ignorant of water's treasures fails also to comprehend its horrors. Fair enough. If it's 6 a.m. for you, I mean, <laughs> as the old saying goes, 99, sleep tight.
I might need to turn that alert down a little bit. That is loud. I uh, usually start streaming at around uh, 7.30 EST time. Um, I actually have a schedule, and if you look down in the About section, I actually have a uh, little plugin that'll actually tell you when I start streaming next. I usually also post whenever I go live on uh, Twitter, as well as in the Discord server, if for whatever reason you uh, need notifications uh, from that. As long as rain falls and rivers flow, water will exist forever. Okay, that's all useless equipment. The only useful thing is the cleansing heart. Which I can use to upgrade uh, Barbara later. Because la 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 hmm, okay. Okay, so we're gonna challenge this guy over here. Yep. You're more than welcome to join. I'm pretty active in there myself. All right, you take it easy. I smell rabbit. <laughs> you have yourself a good rest. Ah, there we go. Okay, I know, I know exactly who I need to do this. Oh wait, no, it's never right. It's the card game. I thought it was. The <laughs> God dang it! Uh, <laughs> achieve victory. Achieve victory within five rounds. Achieve victory with characters defeated less than twice during the battle. Hmm, okay. Ah, oh, that's useful. Okay, let's see. We don't need Electro. Uh, we can definitely have that. And... Yeah, okay. We're just gonna get rid of the one card. Oh, the bow is useless. Okay. Okay. And... Uh, we're gonna start with um, start with Diluc. Let's finish this. Swiftly. AKA Pyro Batman. Okay, what we got? So we roll those. Come on, Pyro, Pyro, Pyro. Okay, we got two Pyros at least. Okay. All right. Alright, so we're going to go use the sword here. Sure. Didn't realize it could only be used on him. Okay, and two more artifacts.
Let's go with, uh, hmm. You know what? Yep, let's go for it. Why the heck not? to help okay and the rounds oh we need to get rid of those dendro that is useless that's useless all right come on give me some good give me some good a lot of pyro. Uh, okay. Huh. Yeah, whatever. Just use my normal attack. Duel's gonna end. There, duel ended in three turns. And none of my characters died, which is a bonus. No, not gonna lie, I thought that I'd lose more characters, to be honest with you. I genuinely thought I'd lose more characters. Can't really complain though. All right, so let's see. According to the yeah. map, the next TCG game I can do is literally right over here. Okay, let's see. What can I do? Okay, let's get rid of... You know what? I don't care much for Kaya. Let's put Fischl in there. Use a skill that has already been used in this round. Spend one less elemental die. Can never go wrong with that. There we go. Okay, we're gonna swap out Noel for Kazuha. Oh. 
All right. Let Okay, let's get that mushroom. Yeah. Yep, that's just eggs. Okay. Time to go. Any more mushrooms sticking down inside of any buildings? Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Jewels from Lewa? Hmm. Hard pass. Most of the stuff from Lewa is kind of just so so. Let's uh, challenge adventure. Okay, let's see. Achieve victory. Win within less than five rounds. Achieve victory. With uh, okay, so let's use my official deck. All right. Oh god, should I be calling this the harem deck? Because Dial Lurks are batch. No. <laughs> no. Um, okay, let's see. What can I get rid of? Okay, that's actually useful, so I'll hold on to that. That's not as useful early game. Not as useful early game. Okay, so we'll switch out those two and see what I can get. Ah, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, let's get uh, let's get Fischl out first, I guess. In the name of the princess, in. Okay, not what I had in mind, but. Okay, deals one electro and summons Oz. Okay. Yeah, let's summon Oz. Oz, reveal thyself. I want to help. Let's just end the turn. Next round should more than make up for it, I think. Hopefully. 
All right, come on. Give me the right card. Give me the right card. Or not the card, but the right die roll. That is terrible. We'll erase all of that. Oh, mine's much better. Okay, cool. Sorry, what? I didn't realize I was able to give myself such a hefty little boost. Did I get everything? I, I genuinely wasn't paying attention to how fast I did that. Because, like, literally, Sucrose, uh, like, the swirl effect is, like, broken in this game. At least I feel like it's broken. It's, so, like, honestly. You just need one Animo character and, like, just a character of any other element, really, and you win. You win. Especially if the opponent's weak to that element. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, I did... Get all three challenges, okay. Okay, we got that guy there. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, of course, Timmy would be a TCG player. There are no pigeons here, to me. Use elemental reactions to. I mean, I, I think I got a good elemental reaction going, because all three of them can react with each other. But I would argue the ice, not ice, but uh, electricity, fire, which is overload, is better than that uh, thing. Next time you perform any switch character, this. Oh, cool. Okay, let's go with uh, let's go official. In the name of the princess, in. Okay, fingers crossed, I can get enough electricity to do my bow. Wish I had chosen differently, but, uh... Uh... 
¿Sí? Does her bow do electrical damage when it hits? Okay, it's physical damage. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay. Oh, no need to pay. Okay. Let's go. can do it. All right. Animal tech 6308. Okay, ending rounds. Alright, let's see what I got. Well, I know I'm gonna have to switch regardless. So let's see what I get. I have very little reason to switch. Still very little reason to switch. Yeah, let's deal the three damage. Better yet, let's draw the two cards. Yeah, I've got no dice left, so end rounds. Come on, give me the good stuff.
que verdad ta, ta, ta. Hmm. oh perfect Yes. Enhanced Panama module 75. In the name of the Princess Inn. with this too while we're at it. No rest for the wicked. All right, and then end round. Come on, anything is good. Correction, everything is awful. All of this is awful. And I can't use anything except for the Electro. Okay, what do you got for me now? Okay, I got one die I can actually use. Okay, cool. At least I didn't lose. I got all three objectives. That's the main thing I wanted. That is, in fact, the main thing I wanted. Let's duel ya. Achieve victory. Achieve victory within six rounds and uh, thing. Oh, I have to reach level 10 to battle him? Wow.
Okay, let's see. Do I have enough? Okay, I need 480. Okay. You know what? Screw it. We'll just do a single wish. See what the hell I get. Oh! Cool, I got a level 4. Is that going to be a character or a weapon? Oh! Was not expecting Lisa. You know, I've actually never pulled her before. Or I haven't pulled her very often. Actually, I think I've pulled her before, but I don't pull her very often. So I'm not used to seeing her character sprite like that. Oh! And we got the Favonius Greatsword. Alright. Okay, I need one more. So that I can do a ten pull. Actually, wait, there is one more um, thing. I might be able to get enough if I get from the achievement. Oh, no, no way in hell I got enough from that. So we can just ignore the achievement. Alright, so I'd like... Actually, you know, we're not crafting anything. We're going to... I want to buy everything and then I'm going to challenge him to a duel. Okay, so... Achieve victory, play one equipment spell... And achieve victory within five rounds. Okay. So I should equip a bow or a book, most likely. Would the artifacts count? I guess they're technically equipment, right? But no, I guess it has to be one of the weapons. Okay, so this is a little bit of uh, luck of the draw, then. Okay, so we can get rid of the dendro... And we can get rid of that one. Okay. So we're going to re-roll that. We'll get... Uh, actually, it looks like... Official might the be the best one, actually, to start with. Okay, so we're going to re-roll all these ice. And that dendro. Ooh, perfect, okay. Me likey. Okay, we can convert two of our dice into Omni dice. And then we'll do this. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use... We're going to summon Oz. I summon thee. Okay, uh... What's this effect? The next time you perform a switch character, spend one less... Okay, yeah, never mind. Okay, that's why I switch characters. Okay, so... Okay, so I can't add to his existing time. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch to... So we're going to switch to Diluc. Let's go. Diluc's going to be a free switch.
Okay, we're gonna end the round. That should do the trick for now. Oh, come on. I need a weapon. Only you three are really bad, so let's see. Kind of bad for this guy, but... Alright, come on. Wait, you can summon additional characters? Like that? Really? Find that rather hard to believe, but okay. Alright, let's see. What do I got going on? Come on, give me the money, give me the money. Yeah, that is not the money. Next time you use a character, character. Next time you use. Next time you use. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I want to end this turn. I know I could end the whole game, but the problem is I, I still need to get an equipment. Peace. Yeah, let's try that again. I want to get the equipment piece victory. Oh, convenient. Okay, there we go. So we don't need that one. That, that's, that's it. That's the only one we really don't need. I guess technically we'll use Sucrose because she can swirl right off the bat. Let's 
at least significantly better because I can actually do something. All right. Oh, cool. Okay. Hey, how are you doing there? Wait, why am I talking like Kermit the Frog? Absorption test. Okay, that that is getting painfully easy to do. Okay, that. Uh, okay, let's see. All I got left is. Okay, I guess I have to end my turn. Uh, this is actually a card game that is unlockable inside of Genshin Impact. So this is a side activity, which is a unlockable trading card game. Uh, let's see. We're gonna convert all of this into a new roll. Basically, each turn you roll die, and then basically they give you different elemental crests, and each character does actions based off the corresponding crests. So, Sucrose here uses uh, the wind elemental crests, which I have three of, and it costs three to use that spell, or three plus the two casts to activate her ultimate, which I definitely will be doing this turn. But I'm also going to be using this free turkey card. Which gives me a little bit of health back. And then I'm going to use this artifact. Along with... Uh, let's see, i got to use two of the same, so... Yep. Oh, cool. I'll have to look into that. Is this like on, uh, where is this being done, if you don't want me asking? Okay, and then use skill. Swirl, mark two. Oh, it's done through their Instagram? Oh, okay, I'll have to check out the, the Instagram after I'm done the stream. Uh, thanks for the heads up on that. I didn't realize uh, Fan Expo was doing a giveaway. Okay, and now I got that. Okay. Use skill. We're gonna use my basic attack. Because of her swirl effect, she can attack multiple targets. Honestly, wind elemental characters, or animo, are basically kind of broken in this game. Because they can multi-strike and swirl. The swirl effect is like the thing that breaks them. Like, unless the target can get healed by getting hit with their own element, or by getting hit with Animo, it's kind of broken for the most part. Like, at least early game, or at least against early game opponents, it's broken. Because I just challenged the Blacksmith. And, uh... Okay, let's see, where yeah. can I go for my next challenge? Okay, so I got... Okay, so I got a guy I can fight over by the, the bar... And two guys I can challenge up the street. So... Okay, so I can do Tamias or Blanche. Okay. Well, I know where they are. Tamias and Blanche. They're literally just up the street here. They're the uh, grocery store clerk and the uh, scholar. Uh, I mean, I'm... 
I've hit a little bit of a roadblock. I need to basically, um... I'm basically just waiting for more content to drop, but also I need to explore a bit more. I mean, I've got some side quests I can do, as well as some event quests. Okay, let's see. Use one elemental burst, win within five rounds, achieve victory. Yep, I can just do it with what I got. Although I should probably make a few adjustments to my deck after this game. Not really. Uh, honestly, the um, surprisingly, I should say, uh, Genshin Impact is one of those few games that's like free to play where you can surprisingly get a lot of progress done without having to throw any money at it. Like, here's the thing. The, the reason I'm roadblocked is not due to not throwing money at it. It's literally due to um, the content just not being there yet. Like, I'm literally just waiting for the content to be there. Okay, we're going to do... Let's do Fischl to start the start the game the off. Of your fate lie in my hands. Okay, so we need to get rid of the Geo, Dendro, and the Ice, as those are all useless to me. And I am rolling almost exclusively Fire. Let's see. I got no points left to use. I mean, World of Warcraft never really needed uh, pay to play sh stuff to really advance, if I recall correctly. Okay, let's see. We just get rid of all of this in the corner and see what I can get. can do it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Wait, do I not have the right amount of dice? Ah, oh, that's yes. Uh, 
All right. Let's, uh, hmm. Okay, I attack first. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, come on, I need wind. Wind, 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 wind. Totally useless. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna destroy some cards. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, got two more cards to toss. Okay, let's see what I get. Arguably a better hand. Let's finish this swiftly. Alright, now I have the next one. Oh, cool. Okay, I got everything. I like how that, that one ended. Okay. Wow, did my fate back. Uh, be right back. Actually, you need to go to the washroom real quick. Should not be too long.
All right, all right. I has returned. Ah, uh, welcome. Welcome, Biak. How y'all doing there? Hopefully nothing too interesting happened while I was gone. Don't know why the hell I'm doing the Kermit the Frog voice again. Uh, let's, let's find the controller. There it is. Okay. Well, another reason I'm actually also doing this card game is also it's a great way for me to just get resources to upgrade myself and just get more characters. Actually, you know, I did say I was going to upgrade my deck. So I go to my inventory. Pull up my casket. Which is my deck box. Okay, let's see. What can I get rid of? Okay, we can remove the, the Geo. Okay, we can remove the Dendro. And put Timmy in there. There. Wait, is there a way to rename the deck to? Oh, literally right here. Okay, we're going to rename this to, uh, main deck. There, you can apparently have spaces. Alright, so play an artifact, win within five rounds, and uh, obviously achieve victory. Okay, so the artifacts basically, they lower the cost mostly, so I've got a few. If I had my way, I would probably see about getting some duplicates, but... Just because official in the name of the princess in Oh, actually this is not too bad. We're gonna use those geos to equip, I guess. Okay, okay, this this ought to work. In my favor. Hmm. Okay, let's use this as well. Alright. Yeah, it is a nice dice animation, honestly.
Okay, I have to end the round, I guess. Okay, so big guy with the shield there is active. Okay. Ooh, hello. That looks neat. Okay, the roll phase. Okay, so we need to get rid of Geo, 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 and the water. Shift one weapon equipment card that has been equipped to one of your characters to another character with the same weapon type. Okay. Uh, that is going to be useless, so we're going to sacrifice that to change this Geo into an Electro. So I can boost Oz. I summon thee. And now that forces De Luca because of the cards I played. We're gonna hit the big guy here with the thing to break his shield. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna change characters. I want to help. Absorption test. Okay, next turn I'll be casting my ult. Okay, let's see. We're gonna get rid of those and that and that. And we've got two useless dice that I can't really use. Sort of. We'll save that for now. Let's use the alt. Animal hyperspace simulation. And then on the next thing, we're gonna switch to. Yeah, probably best to go with official actually. The threads of your fate lie in my hands. Okay, here's what we can do then. Sacrifice. Shadow Raven, let night fall. 
There we go. That should have done it. Huh. Oh, thought for sure I did it. And thought for sure it took me longer than five turns. It's amazing what like, the right uh, team synergy can do. When I get more cards, I'm going to have to get rid of some of these weapon cards I can't use. Okay, let's see. Pulling up the map. Hmm, where did you go wrong indeed? By accepting my challenge. That's where you went wrong. Okay, I think that's all of them. Outside of the one over at the bar over here, and then afterwards I'm gonna go to the cat's tail. Time to go. Challenge. Oh, okay, so I gotta trigger an elemental reaction to do his thing. Okay. Let's make a quick adjustment to my deck. Okay, we can remove the hydro, add that in. Scenery is wonderful. Oh, I should probably also use this while I have the chance. Enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Okay, I'm gonna transmute. Let's transmute a bunch of slime. About a hundred of that. Actually, not. We're not going to use any of these. Step forth, my play. Okay, well, he's ready. Alright, my deck is ready to go. Let's kick his ass. It's what Jesus would have wanted. Well, I'm, I'm sure he would have wanted it. Alright, let's see. Okay, we don't need... The Traveler's Handy Sword. And we don't need the Divine Relic. Ah, there we go. That's what we need. Uh, let's go with... Uh, hmm. We'll start with... We'll start with let's Dalek. Go. Oh, 
okay, not exactly what I wanted, but it'll have to do. Okay, we're gonna play the claymore on him. Okay, so it has to be two of the same, okay. Okay, so now we're going to use Fischl on the next turn. Not Fischl, but uh, Sucrose. And her swirl effect should hit both of them with the flames. Got yeah, whatever. We'll just use uh I'll just use my fire element to switch. of the princess in Let's finish this swiftly. All right, this should be a good way to finish it off.
Okay, never mind. Just cancel that. Time for retribution. I'm sure, it's overkill, but hey, I won, so that's all that matters. I would rather overkill than to underkill. Okay, so now I gotta go to the cat's tail and cash out, unless they suddenly give me more stuff to do on the street. Which I doubt. But they might. I need to level up my duel, my duel level. It's time to do 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 duel. Okay, let's see. Pull up the map. Okay, looks like I did everything that's in town. So... Actually, you know what? It'd be faster just to fast travel. Now what? Ah, oh, God damn it. Okay. There we go. Teleport to the cat's tail. And then I gotta talk to the cat. Because apparently this cat's a card game genius. Somehow. Apparently cats are... Um, Okay, let's ask about the challenge. Go to challenge? Use your understanding of your deck in the four rounds. Limit the tide of foes and score in this challenge. Okay, cool. So it's just an endless gauntlet. Okay. Oh, okay. I know exactly what I'm going for. Okay, so Fischl's going up. Actually, no, not Fischl. Uh, Sucrose is probably best to go first. I can do it. Okay. The next time you perform a switch character, spend one less. Wait, did, did I kill them all? Holy crap, okay. Um, that was... <laughs> uh, that was fast. Barely even had time to do anything. In 
the name of the princess in. Alright, that ends that turn. Alright, let's see, what are we getting? Okay, we should probably get rid of that, 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 and that. I mean, at least they're all the same, so I mean, I can cast my abilities better, but... Uh... Okay, so... Okay, transmutation materials, one played, gained one transmutation material when playing an artifact card. If possible, spend transmutation materials equal to the total cost of the artifact and equip this artifact free once per round. Okay. Odds reveal thyself. All right. Let's switch characters. Let's finish this swiftly. All right, uh, I'm not, not like that. So they get to go first. Okay, so let's see what I got in my hand over here. I want to help. Stand clear. Wow, okay. Um that just like straight up murdered everyone. Enhanced animal 
Alright, can't afford all the future I'm on Fortnite, maybe... Oh! Okay, neat! I actually almost forgot about that. The Futurama thing. I, I know that there's like a gun too, like apparently that like you can find on the map. That's supposed to be like a ray gun based off like the one that's in the, the show. Slash the uh, the Futurama video game like that like maybe like 10 people played. <laughs> I say that sarcastically. Yo, what up? What is uh what is new in the hood? Ah, ah. Fair enough. I didn't realize they uh made a new skin this time. Or a new uh bundle like that. Okay, let's see. Do I have Oh, right. Okay. Uh guess I'll just waste that. And I'll end my turn. Hmm. I mean, maybe. I'm probably going to be ending in like uh, 30 minutes, give or take. I guess just uh, be in the waiting room, I guess. Oh, also, you might have noticed uh, that I changed the uh, the server's icon. It's animated. If you hover your mouse cursor over it, it actually changes. All right. Yo, yo. Oh, whoa, yo, yo. That animated icon is pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, that actually took me a while to make. I spent a lot of time making it. I need to turn the stream down. It's like you speak here and then immediately after the same thing. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, what I might recommend doing is on your Google Chrome tab, if you right click on it, on the tab, yeah, yeah, you think yeah, you can yeah, just yeah. mute the tab? That'll just mute the stream itself, which, yeah, whichever is easier for you. No, it's okay, let's see. I need to hit these two guys. So. Let's see. Yeah, probably best to play this I just card. I don't understand what you're doing other than rolling dice, really. Well, I'm playing. I'm rolling dice and playing cards. Yeah, yeah. There's dice and cards, but I don't understand the mechanics from watching. Okay, basically, every character has three skills, uh, two of which you can use regularly, and then basically there's these stars on the side of the card that re represents how many moves they have to make to activate their ultimate ability. That's their third skill. So ability one, ability two, and then ultimate ability. Oh. My characters are official, Deluc and uh, Sucrose. Sucrose is a wind elemental ma mage, basically. Uh, Deluc is a claymore wielding wheat user who can conjure f flames upon his blade for his special and his ultimate. And uh, official is an archer who can channel electricity Whoa. through her bow. So this is a very hefty skill-based card game, I take it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah, that's why I didn't do so hot with like magic. I tried a little. Uh, well, I mean, this is this is like nothing compared to magic. Well, yeah. Like honestly, this is like magic on training wheels. Yeah, yeah, because there isn't a bazillion words on a card, or maybe there is when you hover over it. No, not it's really. No, not really. I like that about yeah, it. Yeah, if you look, it's like, it just tells me, like, all three of my abilities, what they do, 
pretty straightforward. And then what equipment I have on my character and my type and where my character originates from. My character is from Mondstadt. She's a Catalyst user. Catalyst meaning that she like, uses magic. And her element is Animo, which is wind. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, that's a lot better. I wish, uh, I wish people okay. that would play a simpler card game than all the, like, most intense... Okay, games. I need four for that, but I could... Okay, Diluc can't really attack. Uh, let's see, what about official... Uh, okay, if I switch, I, I basically can't do anything, so... Um, I'm going to destroy my food... So I can at least attack once... And that ends my turn. Oh! Okay, looks like I can attack one more time. Ultimate time. Definitely, if we play the uh, board and not invite other people, because, you know, then we can do the ranked in the board. Yeah. Well, I know ranked zero builds is duos, and. <laughs> unless they finally added the trios. That would be really cool, but. Well, because they said they're going to at some point, but they just haven't gotten around to it we, yet. I wish they'd do four player ranked. Okay, looks like. Looks like that's all I can do. I've only done three things. Three complete things out of the okay, okay. big number I need to do in ranked. Still need to do a couple things, and then I've got the second version of the Miyazo Beach skin, but I got the first one. Okay, what do you got for me, cat? Ooh, kitty. Challenge rewards. Okay, let's check out the shop. I think game is really, really good graphics. Like I like the graphics. I like a lot about it, but then mm, never okay, more game I can buy gear. I might be missing a game if I need to. Support cards. Wait, what's this card do? What does Catherine do? Catherine. When you perform a switch character, this switch is considered a fast action instead of a combat action. Okay, so it basically just lets you attack a second time. Or attack immediately after switching. Okay, actually I might, I might have to grab Catherine then. Catherine will be in my deck later. Let's see, what else can I get? What did Dead by Daylight just do? Oh, they put Nicholas Cage. Yeah, Nicholas Cage got added to the game, which I think is weird as all hell. It's really weird. I never bothered with him too much. I might have seen like one movie, maybe, but I barely remember it. Okay, so it costs three to play, deals one additional damage. One, okay, this character's normal attack deals one additional damage. Okay, this one deals two additional damage if the target range HP is equal to or less than six. Well, that's a bit situational, but. Okay. What's this about sword do? Give shield points when your active character 
Once per round, stack up to two points. Only Claymore users can equip this. Oh yeah, I should probably grab that. The bell. And then for an event. Oh, you will be back at the tea time. Okay. Oh, these are card backs. Never mind, I'm not gonna bother with that. That's just cosmetic. Okay, now it requires me to rank up a bit more. Hmm, let's see, what's Heavy Strike do? Your current active character's next normal attack deals 1 plus damage. When this normal attack is charge attack, deal 1 additional norm uh, damage. Okay. Create 4 basic elemental dice. Of different types. Huh. Yeah, no harm in conjuring random dice. Must have at least two monster characters in your deck. Ah, okay, this round, when an opponent's character is defeated during action. Okay, that is... okay, I'm gonna have to be very creative with my deck build. I'm not gonna lie, I actually... think I am. I, I think I'm gonna be probably suckered into this card game a fair bit. Yeah, plus I'm pretty sure all three of my characters are from Mondstadt, so... Okay, we can remove that and the one-handed sword. Then we need those weapons. Plus the bell. Plus Catherine. Okay, I can remove that. Create four basic dice, okay. Let's not do that. That's useless because none of my characters use the same weapons. So... Blam.
Ah, Sucrose has upgraded her deck since the last time I battled her. Meanwhile, here I am barely upgraded. Don't really need that. Okay. Don't really need that early game. Ooh, but I could definitely use that early game. Wahaha. -ha -ha. Okay. Let's go. Absorption test. Okay, let's see. I am back. Welcome Yada back. Yada yada. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Yada yada. Tidy hole crew.
Ooh, okay, I'm not liking that. Okay, looks like I get to go first. Come on, give me something good. Ugh. Oh boy. Okay, the next time you perform a switch, spend one less element. of your fate lie in my hands. Shadows of fate! I summon thee! Holy crap, okay. They just gave her, like, way too many, uh... Great cards. Goddamn. I feel like I should probably grind it a bit more. I I can do it. Stand clear. <gasps> Do the laundry to check, and that's bad news. Bad, bad news. Okay. Gigabytes or whatever that I don't have. Yeah, the game. Uh, are you talking about Genshin? Yeah, Genshin's pretty big. Yeah. I had it installed, but then like it's been a long time. Yeah, I know it's on the Epic Games launcher now, actually. Yeah, that's where I have it installed, but. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Isn't there extras you can get only on the Epic Launcher nope. inside the game? No, the, you, you just get the advantage of it, like, updating through the Epic Launcher. Nice versus, you know, having to actually boot it up and update it through its client. Every time you want to update. Like, yeah, there are some updates that only can be carried on through the client, but... No, like... When I clicked launch, it went to the client. It's not, it doesn't update to the I kind of wish so that it's less resource testing. Animal hyperspace emulation! Oh, I'm not going to get to play that for a long time then. All right, switch characters. Let's go. My reckoning. In the name of the princess in. Need to make adjustments. All right, so far I'm somehow winning. Despite the fact that I'm pretty sure I'm at a distinct disadvantage 
Oh, never mind. I somehow won. I won with weaker cards. <laughs> I actually thought I was going to lose. I'm not going to lie. But the AI made dumb moves despite having better cards. Go figure. Did you think that I would have lost? Oh, that means I'm gonna have to listen to Sucrose be a sore loser now. I need to find and eliminate my errors. Oh, she made she said angie noises. <laughs> Oh, you actually get proficiency rewards for using specific character cards, too. Okay. Ah, so there's tons of ways I could upgrade myself. And here I was only looking at the shallow, just surface level stuff. When played, draw two cards. Oh, actually that's very useful. I'm done for now. Uh, I'm going to check the Serena teapot. Let's see, what do you got? This realm is truly beginning to thrive. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's not really a lot of credits. Furnishings.
If you ever have it. As I thought. Okay, looks like the card game stuff has to go inside. <laughs> stream actually ah. until next time I'll catch y'all tomorrow and uh, yeah take it easy uh, peace wherever in this world I roam I carry memories of my home this blade. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth.